This is the Star Physical Therapy Kickoff Show on the Aggie Sports Network. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one. Welcome back to the Star Physical Therapy Kickoff Show, and welcome in to those that are watching on live video who just joined us on YouTube, Facebook Live, and the Aggie Sports Network's Silicaga Aggies.com. Jeremy Law, Matt Crocker in the booth, Brent Ashley down on the sideline. Matt Crocker, 26 minutes until kickoff between Silicaga and Moody as the Aggie band has just made its way on the field. An exciting night for football here at Legion Stadium. It's definitely going to be an exciting night. You know, myself being a, a Childersburg graduate, I've always loved the song Hail to the Varsity. When the Mar uh, Aggie marching band plays that, uh, even when I was playing football, it still kind of gave you chills uh, for, that to, for that to be played. So we have our alumni night. We have our fans here. Aggie band just finished playing Hail to the Varsity. Let's get some football going. 25 minutes until kickoff. Let's go ahead and give you the Aggie starting lineups for tonight. Let's start on the defensive side of the ball. On that Aggie defensive line at defensive end, number seven is senior Landon Burns. Uh, JT Sumner will be in the middle of that Aggie defense, as well as Caden Matching, your linebackers, Anaje Russell, Blake Warnick, Katie Cannon. Your corners tonight, Corbin Patterson and Tank Fluker, and your safeties, Jamari Jeffries and Caleb Story. Let's flip it over to the offensive side of the ball. Your starting lineup is brought to you by State Farm agent. Albia steers along that offensive line from left to right at left tackle, a junior wearing number 78. That's Mikey Funderburg. At left guard, a junior, Nathan Gordon, who did play a little bit of both ways last week, had probably the best game of any Aggie offensive lineman, a senior right there in the middle, handling all the communication. Number 73, Miles McCullough at center. Right guard, number 62, Chris West, and 57, Trevin Kirksey at right tackle tonight. A sophomore stepping in for Ethan Corbett who, as I spoke to earlier today, says he is now out for the season with a foot injury. At quarterback, senior Connor Twyman, he looks to bounce back from last week's game tonight against the Moody Blue Devils. Your running backs, Rance Matchin and Carmelo Kelly, joined by Jamari Thomas. And your wide receivers, boy, the Aggies, they have a stable of them. A senior in Quindavia Swain, a senior Jakari Cottingham, a senior in Bryce Odin. And also a guy who had four or five touches last week, a junior wearing number six, Gabe Harrell. Your place kicker and punter, number 25, Ethan Pruitt, who Brent actually absolutely adores. Nolan Gordon, he's going to handle all your long snapping duties tonight. And Q Swain and Jakari Cottingham will be your kick returners and punt returners here in this one. Boy, guys, we talk about those Aggie wide receivers. There were so many chances last week, Brent for these wide receivers. They got open, we didn't always hit them. I look for these guys to be able to step up tonight, even with the rain. Oh, definitely, and you said, you know, you talk about Ethan Pruitt, that, that punter, our place kicker, point after attempt, also the punter, the, the kickoff guy. That, you know, the young man, I talked to him a little bit ago. It's funny that you mentioned it. I, I pulled him as he was starting to head back into the locker room. I asked him, I said, Ethan, are you ready for tonight? He said, yes, sir. He said, even in this rain, he said, I'm wanting to, I'm wanting to reverse the field. I'm wanting to put them in bad situations to where our defense can step up and take a hold. So looking forward to that young man really taking hold tonight. One Aggie that I did miss, Chris Woods on, across the defensive line as well. Elijah Williams is a guy that you're probably going to see in a couple different positions last, the, this tonight as well as last week. Had his hand in the dirt and some played a little linebacker for the Aggies too. He's a guy that this Aggie defense wants to keep on the field as well. Those were your starting lineups brought to you by State Farm. Agent Albia Steers is, boy, it is coming down, down there on the field. Uh, alumni night, the alumni set to be honored in a couple of minutes. And we did have a, you know, we were going to have a ceremony down in the south end zone. Rain seemed to have spoiled that as well, guys. So, you know, the rain, a damper so far, maybe – on pregame festivities, as there are quite a few Aggies that are still going to roll in, but it'll be right at kickoff, and you can't blame them with the weather that we have right now in this game. But, Matt, again, we talked a little bit about Moody earlier. We talked about Winona right there in the middle. But back to focus on this Moody Blue Devil 
Football team, running back Blaine Burke, quarterback Charlie Johnston, Amon Lane, who's listed as a corner. Um, if they get in trouble, he'll be a guy that goes both ways. Probably their overall best athlete is Amon Lane, but some other guys that, uh, you know, you, that you remember from last year, the cornerback Walton, Zane Smith, um, you know, it's uh, it's been a – this is a really loaded, moody football team. Yeah, and it's – it's uh, they had some that uh, – Graduated out, some uh, pretty big guys, pretty fast guys. Probably remember the name uh, Dozier, uh, six seven uh, wide receiver they had. All you had to do is throw it in the vicinity and he would catch it. But his backup is uh, just as good as he is. Um, across the line, we talked about them just a little bit ago. All of those big guys, a lot of those have come back. They graduated some of those out. But they are getting D1 looks uh, for pretty big colleges. So, uh Aggies are going to have their hands full tonight. Yeah, and Brent, I know, you, heck, you might be hiding out down there right about now, but this is a moody team that the Aggies hung in there with, heck, for about two and a half quarters last um, year on the road at Moody. Now, Sylacauga, I think the difference between this year and last year is Sylacauga's not going to have as many guys playing both ways. They're going to try to keep guys fresh, but the Aggies did hang in there with Moody for two and a half quarters and obviously that backbreaker before halftime on that long touchdown pass to right. Davion Dozier. But the Aggies, guys, listen, it, it's not a far-fetched idea to think the Aggies can hang in this game tonight. Right. Oh, no, not at all. You know, and you're exactly right. Last year at their home turf, we were right there with them all the way up till halftime. And even in midway through third quarter, you know, and it's just a few key players, you know, that, you know, we've, we've lost them last year, but we've got some great ones that's filled right back into their spot. So tonight, it's got to be the same thing. The Aggies have got to go toe-to-toe with them from start to finish. You know, and So it's where, what we've got to look at is our linebacker core watching that quarterback and that running back and what they're going to do, moving with them, making sure that they are really stunting in the holes, getting to the quarterback, making things happen in the backfield. And then our really the defensive backs, safeties, have got to be there to cover those receivers as they try to throw the ball downfield. And then other than that, I talked to Coach Strickland, and he just reinsured everything that we've been talking about the entire pregame show, and that is we've got to get back to the basics, we've got to be fundamentally sound, and we've got to tackle. But Coach Strickland, his, he feels very good that this Silicaga Aggie offense and defense is ready to go tonight. Well, it sounds like Brent actually is in a monsoon down on the sideline as the marching Aggie band set to give their pre-game performance. We'll also bring you their halftime performance brought to you by Ricky Deason Insurance and Investments. 19 minutes until kickoff. We'll take a four-minute break here in the Star Physical Therapy kickoff show. Stay with us. This is the Aggie Sports Network presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Did you know that CVMC now offers a full retail pharmacy? Coosa Valley Apothecary offers easy prescription transfers, convenient location, and low prices every day. Whether you need a prescription filled, are looking for over-the-counter products, or just have questions for our pharmacists, stop in for the personalized service of an independent, community-based pharmacy. Avoid a second stop after your hospital discharge with the Meds to Bed service. It allows you to fill your prescriptions before you go home. Coosa Valley Apothecary, located conveniently on the ground floor of Coosa Valley Medical Center. Attention, all contractors and recyclers. Coosa Valley Recycling is here to help you save the planet one dumpster at a time. We're like the Optimus Prime of recycling. Strong, reliable, and always ready for action. When you're tackling a big project and need a dumpster for your recycling metals, we've got you covered. We can even help with demolition if you need. So don't let your recyclables go to waste. Let Coosa Valley Recycling help you make a difference. 256-245-4300. Just as the name says, Purcell Agritech combines agriculture with technology for next generation seed solutions for turf, ornamental, row, and specialty crops. If you're in any one of those industries, contact Purcell Agritech to see how they can meet your application and nutrition needs online at fertilizer.com. Purcell Agritech would like to wish the Silicaga Aggies best of luck this year in sports. Go Aggies! In the last 25 years, we've had five presidents. We now have smartphones instead of landlines. Computers went from 250 megabytes to terabyte hard drives. Netflix didn't exist, but we had Movie Gallery. 
There have been a lot of changes in the last 25 years, but Albia Steers has been your good neighbor State Farm agent all that time with the same great coverage State Farm built their reputation on it. And Albia Steers is still here for you now with rates to fit your budget. Come see him on Broadway, just north of Jackson, Sylacauga. Need a little more help after surgery or hospitalization than your spouse can handle at home? See if your doctor will send you to Silicaga Health and Rehab. They offer innovative post-acute rehabilitation services known for their exceptional outcomes. Their dedicated rehabilitation wing includes a state-of-the-art therapy gym, private living rooms, and a dining room, and large private rooms with Wi-Fi available and private baths. Physical, occupational, and speech therapies are provided in a restorative environment that encourages progress and nurtures the whole person. That's Silicaga Health and Rehab. Hi, I'm Dr. Casey Price. Southern Smiles wants to help our community live pain-free and at ease at their dental appointments. That's why we offer sedation dentistry. By utilizing IV sedation, Southern Smiles has been able to help many fearful patients get dental treatment done safely and comfortably. IV sedation dentistry is sometimes called twilight or sleep dentistry. If this sounds good to you, make your appointment at Southern Smiles of Silicaga today. These are roaring with hometown pride. Here at First Bank of Alabama, our bank family is cheering for your team too. We support all our local communities with state-of-the-art banking. From checking to savings, construction loans, home equity, and home mortgages, we provide all of your consumer and commercial banking needs. We want you to bank how you want. Whether it's online, in person, mobile, or telephone banking, we make it easy for you. Visit us at firstbankal.com to find the most convenient way for you to bank. First Bank of Alabama, where you are first. First Bank of Alabama, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Your business will thrive as a member of the Sylacauga Chamber of Commerce because the Chamber promotes community. A strong local economy means creating a quality of life that a workforce wants to live, play, and stay in. That's why, as a Chamber member, you get to actively play a role in the advancement of Sylacauga. Ready to be a part of the change? Join now by calling 256-249-0308. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga. Plus, Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. It's a $29 summer sales event. Every vehicle, just $29 down. $29 bucks. 700 new Nissans. Plus, acres of only the best pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. All just $29 down. $29 bucks. Plus, 0% financing. 0% for 60 months. And at Sarah Nissan, you get a lifetime warranty. No charge. Engine, powertrain, and more. 0% financing for 60 months and if you've got $29 you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan now at three locations Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman 0% on select models 23 Centra PY270453 MSRP 25,075 sale price 24129 down 385 a month for 75 months at 5.99% APR plus tax tag title to qualified buyers what do you like at Lori Darlin's I love the chicken livers. The fried green tomatoes and baked potato. The barbecue. I like the club sandwich. Wings, hot. Hamburger steak. Catfish and veggies. And remember, each bite supports our area sports teams. Nothing brings a community together like good food and hometown sports. Lori Darlins is proudly serving up both. Right off Sylacauga Fayetteville Highway, right before Dollar General. Amya is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. They service the consumer goods industry, paper and board industry, the polymer industry, and the construction industry. Amya is a leader in research, development, and innovation to support economic growth and protecting ecological balance, all while fueling social progress. This is the key to today's objectives and future success. Amya says good luck to all area athletes. There sure are a lot of bathroom and kitchen contractors out there, and they all seem to have the same unsubstantiated promises. Cheapest, quickest, etc., etc. Well, here's one promise you can actually count on. For reliable and affordable plumbing services, there's no better company to trust than Ponder Plumbing. Providing excellent customer service isn't just their job, it's their passion. Ponder Plumbing is committed to making sure that you are completely satisfied with their work. 
so that you can be comfortable in your home or business. Live game action is brought to you in part by D&T Rentals, the official equipment rental company of the Aggie Sports Network. The Sylacauga Aggies get work done with D&T Rentals in Sylacauga, serving the greater Coosa River Valley region. 12 minutes until kickoff from Legion Stadium. Sylacauga taking on the Class 5A Moody Blue Devils. Sylacauga in the south region. The Moody Blue Devils in the north. So no chance that these teams um, would meet in a postseason event unless it was in potentially the state finals, Matt Crocker. So I know a lot of people say, why are you playing a 5A team in the regular season? Well, you know, they're in the north. No, no, no chance of a crossover a little bit later on. But nonetheless, still the Aggies facing off against a really, really talented opponent this week and still preparing next week for our first region matchup. We do have Elmore County back at home next Friday, excuse me, Thursday, Thursday. night. B.B. Comer will be here on Friday night. So Silicon and Elmore County here Thursday night. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock. We'll be live on WSGN at 5.30 for that one. Live video coverage will start at 6.30 in all the same places. We've talked about this Moody team so much, Matt Crocker, but what about this Aggie team? Talk to all the coaches. We left a lot out on the field. You watch the tape. Maybe not as bad as it looked after you watched the tape. A missed block here, a missed tackle there. In the being in the right position, it seemed like so many times, but not able to make the play. What could the Aggies take good potentially from last week and roll into this game? Yeah, if you were to watch the uh, a replay of that game, overall it, it was it was messy. But if you really really uh, hone in on positions, you'll see where those small mistakes really really hurt us. We've got a great coaching staff this year, a lot of new coaches led by uh, Coach Chris Smelly. Uh, he's done a really, really good job getting all these guys bought into the system. Like we talked last night on Aggie Talk, he's got 89 kids on the roster this year. 89 kids uh, off of a 55-kid roster from last year. Every one of those 89 kids are – I keep saying kids. I'm going to call them young men because they're developing into good football players, and at the same time, they're learning a lot of leadership skills and qualities to be successful later on. But right now, it's time to capitalize on the game that each one of them love. The Blue Devil captains already out on the field across the way from us. We'll give you their names in just a few minutes. Still awaiting the Aggie captains, although we're still about eight minutes until the coin toss at Legion Stadium. Brent Ashley, I know it looks like the rain has not maybe not stopped, but it is raining much, much less than it was about five minutes ago down there on the field. Yeah, it's a lot less than what it was. It's not as heavy, you know, but it's still steady. It's still just a steady town pour. The drainage system on the field is doing a really good job. Earlier as I was watching down toward the north, excuse me, the south side of the field, we had a lot of water coming up around the side of the end zone. But now that it's backed off a little bit, the rain's still steady, as I said, but not as heavy. You know, all the drainage system is really getting the water off the field, and uh, we're looking, hey, looking good and getting ready to go with about 8.44 left before we kick this off. Yeah, eight minutes, 39 seconds until kickoff as the Blue Devils will come out of their locker room across the way at Legion Stadium and head to the north end zone. The Aggies and, the, well, the Aggie fans starting to add a few more to their numbers here in the stands at Legion Stadium as the, it looks like the rain may be starting to come back down a little bit harder. Matt Crocker, you know, we talked about the rain in this game. The rain might help the Aggies, Matt Crocker. This is a moody team that likes to spread it out a little bit. This Aggie team was going to be a little bit big play heavy this year as well. They like to throw the ball down the field, but maybe in the Aggies' favor, shrinking the game, ticking the clock, trying to take the air out of the football in this game to try to keep it close, give yourself a chance to win in the fourth quarter. That's right. And like we said before, this is the Aggies' home turf. This is where they practice day in and day out. They know the turf. They know the conditions, rain or shine. But you're right. Um, you look at a team that uh, spreads the field out, relies heavy on the pass or on, on the run, that's really going to affect them being on a slick surface. So defense should know that, uh, be able to capitalize on it, make some critical stops, stop their momentum in the beginning, continue, uh, keep, your, keep your foot on their necks, keep them down, Keep their momentum down, get their morality down, and 
make some make some good stuff happen tonight. Aggie captains out of the locker room. Chris West, Connor Twyman, Quindavious Swain, and Caleb Story. And we'll see if head official tonight, Pete Story, will get those at midfield, or do we have time to play our intro here tonight? Matt, let's go ahead and take a let's go ahead and play our intro for tonight so we make sure we get tonight's coin toss. All the action is right here. This is Silicaga High School Football. Brought to you by Toyota of Silicaga, where they're worth the drive and they'll prove it on the Aggie Sports Network. Presented by Coosapines Federal Credit Union, where you belong. Sponsored by Central Alabama Community College, State Farm Agent, Albia Steers, Silicaga Chamber of Commerce. Ricky Deason Insurance and Investments, Call Your Motors, Snap Fitness, Heritage Freight, Erlene's Flowers, Garris Pawn and Tax Service, Harvey's on Noble, Milo's, Silicaga Health and Rehab, Spring Terrace, Atkinson Homes, Ponder Plumbing, Area Real Estate, Coosa Valley Recycling, Sarah Automotive Silicaga, Amya, Allen Brew Market, Purcell Agritech, Donahue Physical Therapy, First Bank of Alabama, Coosa Valley Auto Sales, Alabama District 33 State Representative Ben Robbins, Coosa Valley Electric Cooperative, Marble City Pharmacy, Silicaga Glass, Silicaga Parks and Recreation, Alta Point Health, D&T Rentals, Coosa Valley Medical Center, Silicaga Pharmacy, Lori Darlins, Van Zant Hardware, and Wright Tire and Service, now, here is sideline reporter Matt Crocker, Broadway Spinal Care, color analyst Brent Atchley, and the voice of Silicaga High School Athletics, Jeremy Law. Kickoff in five minutes at Legion Stadium. Again, the Aggie captains getting set for tonight's coin toss. Caleb Story, Quindavious Swain, Connor Twyman, and Chris West and the Moody Blue Devil captains, A.J. Madison, Braden Wright, Abram Jackson, and Brennan King. The two teams will meet on the 50 where it reads Legion Stadium, and we'll throw it down to Brent Ashley. Silicaga, this is Mr. Morris. He's your umpire tonight. Moody, I'm Mr. Story. I'm your referee tonight. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet y'all. Right. Y'all get all this stuff off your wrist when you go back to the sideline. Can't have all those bands on like I got on, okay? Get all that off. Hey, we're starting one in the rain tonight. We're going to have some fun, right? But listen, y'all been elected captains. That's a special honor. If we have problems with your teammates, we expect y'all to help us with that. Y'all help us before we have to take care of it, all right? Let's have fun. It's going to be wet. The ball's going to be wet. We know that. Let's have a great game. What does every what does football start with? What does this game need to start with tonight? Huh? Leadership, sportsmanship. Okay. We expect that out of y'all. Let's have some fun. There's my coin. It's heads, and that says tails. Okay. Are you gonna call it? If I drop it, we'll flip it again. Go ahead and call it. Tails. What did you hear? What did he call? Tails. He called tails. And I didn't flip that one good, so we're gonna do it again. All right, that was a good one there. Heads. You've won the toss. You can kick, receive, or defer. Do you want the football? So which goal do you want to defend? You want to defend there? All right, so y'all come here. All righty, guys. Silicon decided to take the ball right off the bat, so they're going to defend. Moody is going to defend the north side goal. So I'll turn it back to you guys. Aggies will indeed get the football first. Kickoff when we come back. This is the Aggie Sports Network from Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Snap Fitness Silicaga is here for you 24-7 to help move your body and transform your mood with a strong member community and a super supportive team. Members get access to the best range of cardio, strength, and functional training equipment, plus a free member app for access to workout programs, on-demand fitness, and healthy, delicious recipes. And fitness isn't just a young person's game. Staying active helps to prevent disease, improve mental health, decrease risk of falls, and improve cognitive function. It's never too late to get started. Join the Snap Fitness community today. Snap Fitness on James D. Payton Boulevard, right behind Sarah Honda. 
From minor touch-ups to major collision repairs, no job is too big or too small for Collier Motors Paint and Body Shop. Their skilled technicians have a passion for perfection, and they treat every vehicle as if it were their own. Worried about your insurance claim? Don't. Their friendly staff will guide you through the process, making it hassle-free and ensuring you get the best possible outcome. Call your motors on Old Silicaga Highway. Now you're home for live Aggie football play-by-play -play on the flagship station for Silicaga High School Athletics, WSGN. The Aggies out of the end zone to our right. Under the flashing lights at Legion Stadium, Silicaga will face the top 10 ranked Moody Blue Devils in the second game for the Aggies in the regular season. The students in the band will leave the field and we will have kickoff in just a few moments. The Aggies won the Coosa Valley Auto Cells coin toss here tonight and will receive the opening kickoff moving south to north. That's left to right from the affordable heating and air broadcast booth. Jeremy Long, Brent Ashley in the broadcast booth tonight. Excuse me, Matt Crocker in the booth tonight. Brent Ashley down on the sideline. It's tough to break six years of habits. And um, Brent, it's hard to imagine. I think that we're on year seven together, but the Aggie kick return team will head out towards the sideline. Moody still huddling on their sideline. 12 minutes already being set on the scoreboard here at Legion Stadium. The scoreboard and score updates being brought to you by Garris Specialties and Pawn. First quarter brought to you by Donahue Physical Therapy. I want to thank Ben Donahue and his sponsorship here on the Aggie Sports Network. As the rain still falling, not nearly as hard as it was about 25 to 30 minutes ago. Well, and the Aggies said, Brent, that they wanted the football, I believe. But now the Moody return team will come out onto the field. So the Aggies will kick to the Moody Blue Devils. I think what happened was uh, Coach Smelly went out and got with the white cap as I was. We actually want to kick to them. Let's let them have the ball first. So Pete Story, the head uh, white cap, overturned that. So we're now kicking to Moody. The Aggies will kick it off, and it's an onside roller. Football loose down on the turf. Who has it? A dog pile for the football at the 48-yard line. Whose ball is it? And Moody comes up with it, and they'll have great starting territory. The Aggies start this one off with a surprise, Matt Crocker, and nearly still a possession. That's right. I mean, that was good focus for uh, Moody's guys on the line to keep their eye on the ball and fall down on it. Uh, instead of scooping it up, scoop it down. That, that's good fundamentals, good technique, but – Tough break for us, but let's see uh, let's see the defense stand up, take over this over the line of scrimmage. Moody, offense captain by quarterback Charlie Johnston, running back Blaine Burke, dangerous receivers Barnes, Hardaway, Robinson, and Wright shotgun. Football right hash for Johnston as he'll give it off to Burke first play. The Aggies will push Burke back in the backfield. Now he'll reverse field. Has a lot of run, running room in front of him. Burke out at the 40. A block in the back that was missed. And finally, the flag will come out late from the head referee, Pete Story, from way in the backfield. And this one will be overturned. Yeah, that just shows the athleticism of Blaine Burke there. To, it was completely designed to run around the left end, but he turned the field completely over. Even a nice block by Charlie Johnston, number 10, his quarterback. Uh, a lot of athleticism in the backfield. It's one, another one of those plays, guys. We saw that two or three times last week. The Aggie, at least the right side of that defensive uh, line with Landon Burns, JT Sumner blowing plays up, but not able to corral the ball carrier in the backfield. Blaine Burke gets loose, but a block in the back will back this one up. It'll be first and about 17 now from the 42-yard line. Yeah, that was a great effort from our uh, defensive line. Take control of the line of scrimmage. Don't let the big boys push you around. Man in motion is Hadaway. Johnston, play action fake, looking, looking, throws deep. Man back there, overshoots it incomplete. 
in great coverage on this play was the Aggies' Tank Fluker, and he is a guy that's coming into this game with a chip on his shoulder after a tough game one. That's right, and who says uh, after a loss the Aggies can't be playing with a chip on their shoulder too, Jeremy? And it's obvious. They, they want to go out and make a, make a name for themselves. Let them know they're in the Aggies' house, and uh, you are not welcome. Here now on a second and 17 from their own 42-yard line, Johnston shotgun brings a man right to left across the formation. Hand off, Blaine Burke, big hole. Here's Burke, 45-40 into Aggie territory, darting down the right sideline. Burke, 20, 15, and pushed out of bounds by KD Cannon in the red zone. Yeah, uh, wide open on the line of scrimmage there. We got to, got to get a little bit more control from our defensive tackles and ends to close those holes in. I could have ran through that that hole, Jeremy, uh, but he he took it he took it how many yards? Forty yards. Big gain for Blaine Burke inside of the Aggie twenty. Now first and ten at the seventeen. A big gain. Johnston again shotgun. Burke right hip man across the formation left to right with the football right hash. Hand off to Burke again. He'll stretch it out far left side. A couple of Aggies able to bring Burke down, but not before a gain of six, setting up a second and four at the Aggie, excuse me, yeah, at the Aggie 12-yard line. Yeah, that's a great job for Caden Manchin right there, following the running back all the way down the line of scrimmage and attacking uh, right as he crossed. Uh, good job, Caden. Four wide receivers in the formation football. Now on the left, Hash Moody and Johnston look over towards the Moody sideline and grab a new play. Johnston gives Burke cut step. Here's Burke inside of the 10, close to a first down, and I think he got it. Looks like it's first and goal. Blue Devils, who he may be half a yard shy. Yeah, good job by our uh, linebacker core to be able to stay at home, not let that play blow up like it, like it could have. So it was indeed now a first down. They needed to get all the way to the 12, and the nose of the football sitting there first, in, excuse me, to the seven. First and goal at the seven. A heavy set now for Moody. Two H-backs. Well, they got about four tight ends on the field now. Burke, it'll take a direct snap. Here's Burke, chased down by Sumner, gets past one Aggie. Burke inside of the five, slides down at the four-yard line. Second and goal from the four. Can't say enough about JT Sumner. Second ever varsity football game. Starting on that defensive line at tackle position. Uh, he is a his absolute menace to those linemen that are trying to block. JT Sumner forced that play out wide, and Burke wasn't able to catch the corner. Here's Burke again, and this time he'll reach the end zone as Moody had their heavy package in, and Burke takes it in. Yeah, you know, ju just a good surge from the offensive line there to make room for him to squeeze through and get into the end zone, but uh, it's still early, Jeremy. Uh, Last thing we need to do is let our spirits get down, get our heads down this early into the ball game. We've got a lot of time left to make something happen. In the 7 o'clock train, six minutes late here at Legion Stadium. Swinging gate formation for Moody here on this PAT attempt. Will they go for two? And they will. They'll snap it out to the right, and they'll take it in. 8 nothing Blue Devils. Blaine Burke again as the two-point conversion is good. And let's go down to our sideline reporter, Brent Ashley, for a sideline report. Brent? Well, right now, guys, what I've seen on that drive was very impressive. The thing that we've got to do is keep the speed. If we can keep the speed off the ball, the, the O-line for Moody is having extreme trouble keeping us out of the backfield. So the Aggies, even though they did come up with eight points, it was a very impressive of how our uh, defensive line was able to get off the ball, beat those big uh, tackles and guards, and get in the backfield. So that was very impressive for our Aggies on that. It's Brent actually down on the field. So guys, the Aggies, and I don't blame them, they try to steal a possession. They get an onside kick. Moody's able to recover, but Moody had a second and 17. That ended up being a 40-yard play into Aggie territory, and the Blue Devils end up in the Aggie end zone. It's 8-0 Moody here with 9-13 left in the Donahue Physical Therapy first quarter. Blue Devils will tee this football up at the 40-yard line. They will kick left to right. Cottingham and Swain, the two deep return men standing around their own 10-yard line. Over, 
Marino will be the kicker for the Moody Blue Devils. Still early in this first quarter. A high end over end kick that skips out of bounds at the 30. This will give the Aggie offense good starting field position at the 40 yard line. Moody tries to catch the Aggie sleeping and get a little squibber on the sideline. And boy, if that one bounces the right way, it could just as easily be Moody football as Aggie football. It'll be first and 10, Silicaga. Yeah, and that was a good heads up play by uh, Landon Haywood. It's so tempting to want to go after that ball and turn it upfield, but when you see it that close to the sideline, just let that thing go. We'll take those yards on the penalty. Is that the 35 yard line? My apologies. All right, this Aggie offensive line it comes out now from left to right. It'll be Funderburg, Gordon, McCullough, Chris West, and Trevin Kirksey, senior quarterback Connor Twyman. As Jakari Cottingham comes and sets up in the left slot off the right side of Bryce Oden, who's the receiver to the near side, Swain to the far side. Rance matching in a pistol set behind Twyman as the Aggies set for their first play. Jakari now in motion, will fake and give to Rance matching. Rance will find a seam, push ahead across the 40 yard line to the 43, a gain of eight on the opening carry for Rance Manchin sets up a second and two. And that is a great statement from our offensive line and Rance Manchin himself dragging the Blue Devils down. He had uh, three or four on his back. Like we said before, in, in stature, he's not very tall, but he is, runs with a, with a lion's heart. Amon Lane, the Auburn commit on Q Swain. Here's a snap to Twyman. He'll get the edge. Here comes Connor, 45, 50 into Moody territory and pushed hard out of bounds at the Moody 46. CT picks up a big first down on the opening drive. Yeah, that slick ball mishandled a little bit by CT there, but uh, again, Rance laying a leading block for him. You just can't say enough about uh, the heart of that kid, but great play from the Aggies. Good heads up play, make some positive yards. What could have been out of nothing, uh, get first down. Again, Odin near side. Lionel Cheneau, the big freshman H back in the game, as well as Nolan Gordon. Football left hash, and a flag comes out. And let's talk about this a little more. And this is going right. to be on Moody in the neutral zone. This will be a free five yards, first and five now from the 41. And this goes back to our discipline that we were talking about before. Riddled with uh, snap infraction penalties last year, but we're doing well this year. Q Swain on an island with him on lane. Far side, Bryce Oden near side, Twyman heavy set. He'll keep it himself, CT. Gets the edge, Twyman. Picks up a first down, a little more inside of the 30, pushed out at the 27. The Aggies may have gotten away with a hold on the left side of the offensive line, but Twyman inside of the 30 to the 27. The Aggies moving the football early. Yeah, being driven out on the 33 there. Twyman said, no, I want some more, and got about five more yards. Great, great pursuit. Football will stay left hash. Connor Twyman checking the Aggies sidelines. Plays signaled in. First and 10 at the Moody, 28 yard line. CT with Rance to his right, high snap, pulled down by Connor. Gives it off to Matchin. The Aggies catch the edge again as Matchin picks up one. Could have been a multi yard loss on the play. Again, a wet football nearly gets through the hands of CT but able to put it into the gut of Rance Matchin and will make a positive play. That's right, Rance will not, he he, he almost won't go down tonight. We've got to get, make, get a little bit more, a uh, little more pressure on that defensive line. Uh, totally take, take control, take charge. Two receivers far side, one to the near side. Second and nine after a one yard carry. Moody showing blitz, now they'll back off. CT. Keeper, big hole for Connor inside of the 25, falls forward to the 23, and now a third and manageable third and five after a gain of four yards. Yeah, like we said before, this is our house, this is our turf. We know how to play on it. We know we know what's working. We just got to keep up this momentum, uh, keep getting, keep making those holes. Let him do it with his feet if that's how we got to gain yards. Uh, just keep it going. Moody scored on their opening possession. It's 8 nothing. Moody. Aggies marching with 7-12 left in the first quarter. Left side of the field now. Matching splits out right on a third and five. Empty backfield for Connor Twyman. 
And as he awaits the snap from Miles McCullough, quarterback keeper, CT catches the edge. First down a little more, CT runs over a defender yes. inside of the 15-yard line. Oh, yeah. A big run for CT inside of the Marble City Pharmacy Red Zone. The Aggie offensive line out to play on this opening possession. Aggie skill position players looking over. Getting the play, CT with Rance matching behind him, pistol set. Bryce Soden. Nearest to us, Swain on the far side. Man in motion is Harold from right to left. CT gives Rance matching, no wiggle room here as Moody sold out to stop the run as Rance maybe gets one to the 15. And let's go down to sideline reporter Brent Ashley. Brent. Yeah, right now the Aggies are doing exactly what they need to do on offense. As we just said, we tried to go up the middle there, but the offensive line is doing such a great job of keeping this four-man front of the Moody Blue Devils pushed inside. They're keeping them, I mean, the way they're blocking, they're coming off their block, but they're turning to their inside, the right shoulder on the left line, left shoulder on the right line, pulling them to the middle, and that's allowing CT and the other guys to get outside and make plays happen. Empty set for Connor. Here now on a second and nine, the second, second and nine of this drive. CT fakes, looks right under pressure, has a receiver out there. Oh, just off the hands of Nolan Gordon, slightly behind the Aggie tight end. Under pressure was Connor Twyman, and then throwing the wet football on top of it will be third and nine at the 15. Boy, the Aggies won points bad on this one. Matt Crocker, you've driven inside of the red zone at the Moody 14 yard line. Yeah, right now we uh, down there in the red zone. You got the cake. Let's put the icing on it. On a third and nine, Cottingham and Harrell come out. Q Swain again splits out wide. Rance matching to the left hip now of Twyman. On a third and nine, Moody defense is a little spread out. Bryce Oden in motion. The Aggies have leverage. Connor Twyman down the left sideline. He'll score. Touchdown, Aggies. Touchdown, Aggies. What a touchdown drive to open this one. Wow, you can't say enough about Bryce Oden right there sealing that block on that cornerback. Uh, completely selfless play. Opened up a lane you could drive a charter bus through. CT for the touchdown. Connor Twyman, a 14-yard touchdown run. And the Aggies, they'll stay here and attempt an extra point. They will not attempt to tie here. They'll take the extra point on the kick is Ethan Pruitt. Snap, hold, kick is up, and it is true. What a touchdown drive for the good guys to start it off, Brent Ashley. Yeah, absolutely. Those guys, really, they just come in. The key block on that, guys, I don't know if you could see it, was Nathan Gordon on the outside. Nathan came out from that uh, the H back position and he sealed the outside off to where Rance Manchin just had to turn around and assist him and when he did that CT was able to make that turn all the way in the end zone touchdown Aggies man this is awesome student sections going crazy it is unreal what a touchdown drive eight to seven the Aggies answer right back Matt Crocker to get on the board yeah uh big big props to the offensive line Brent you mentioned big Nate Gordon Offensive linemen, are, that's the only position in any sport where it's totally selfless. Nothing that you do makes you shine. You make the guys behind you shine. Uh, just super play by Big Nate, Big Chris West, all those guys. Touchdown drive for the Aggies. Connor Twyman, let's see, we get our Silicon Aggie stats pulled up. Drive summary. 14-yard touchdown for Silicaga. Nine plays, three minutes, 27 seconds. As this kick is up in the air, it bounces in fair territory, and Silicaga comes up with yes. it. Bryce Oden comes up with the football. The onside kick didn't work to start it, but the pooch kick off the tee popped straight up in the air, and the Aggies do steal a possession. It's Bryce Oden coming up with the loose football. I love it, Jeremy. Going back to what we were talking about earlier, those fundamentals, you don't, you cannot, you cannot force that to happen during practice. Great heads up play by Bryce Oden. 
Sylacauga's offense will now retake the field after a massive touchdown drive of 70, excuse me, 65 yards on their first possession, capped off by that Connor Twyman. 14-yard touchdown run. The Aggie offense back out there. Cooper Steele now near side. Bryce Oden had to come out because he did lose his helmet there as he recovered the football. Rance matches, splits out far to the right. Will the Aggies pull another draw out of their hat with two receivers right, one to the left? Here's CT. Has a block. Connor searching for the edge. Nowhere to go as Connor taken down at the line of scrimmage at the Moody 28. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, that, the Blue Devils sniffed that one out coming around the end. Uh, won't be fooled. Uh, Steele right here on the end uh, had his hands full with that defensive back. Uh, wasn't able to seal that block like we've seen before. But we'll get there. He will get there. Great athlete. Bryce back in. Second and ten from the Moody 28. And now Moody in the neutral zone. They took the hard count. Boy, we talked about it last week. The Aggies need some hard counts. They need to get this one on a defensive line, guessing the second time here in the first quarter. Right, and if you'll notice down here on the sides, we call our, we call our snap count in. The quarterback, the line knows uh, what, what is going to happen, and it's constantly changing. Uh, it's almost unpredictable for those defensive linemen to be able to figure out a pattern. Uh, they just got to watch the football, and when they take their eyes off, Second, and now five. After the five-yard encroachment penalty, Connor Twyman in the backfield by himself. Here's the snap, keeper, CT. Inside of the red zone again, Marble City Pharmacy red zone. Did he get the first down? I thought we just needed the 19. Boy, this one's going to be close. Very close, Jeremy. But what legs on CT tonight? He, he He's running like a bull tonight. Uh, offensive line is doing a great job opening up those small creases for him, and he just needs a small crease to be able to gain some yards. It's third and a half yard. Aggies going from the shotgun. Not sure we'll see him get under center much this year. Cottingham, right slot. Bryce Oden, near side receiver. Football left hash. Moody, everybody up at the line of scrimmage. Snap to CT. He'll have the first down and a lot more. Here's CT. 15, 10, 12, and oh, give me 15 more. Yeah, there it is. It. Connor Twyman hit two yards out of bounds. Half the distance to the goal from the penalty. It'll be first and goal from about the six. But what I love about that boy, number five, Connor Twyman, he gets up, shakes it off. He says, do it to me again. Bring me your best. I'm going to top it. The personal foul penalty on the Moody Blue Devils. Silicaga, they are marching. Had this one first. What in 10 after recovering that live ball at the 28. CT in this Aggie offense at the five and a half yard line. Moody leads at 8-7 with 3.55 left in the first quarter. Coach Smelly and Coach Carr send in the play. Here's the give to Matchin. Gets a yard to the four. Now we saw a two H-back set there, big Lionel Cheneau, who is only a freshman. He is going to be a, a menace to other teams as he continues to grow. He's a bull right now, but he's going to continue getting better. I mean, he's out there with the starting offense right now as a freshman. And Nolan Gordon anchoring that other side. Second and goal from the four. Aggies looking to take the lead. Play clock at eight, at seven, at six, in Silicaga will take their first timeout of the ball game. Brought to you by Silicaga Parks and Recreation. We'll take a 30-second break. We'll be back with 3:10 left in the first quarter. Eight, seven, Moody with the lead, but the Aggies threatening. Hey there. I'm glad to see Brad here. I hate that he broke his foot last week. Me too. He had to have surgery, and now it's time for physical therapy time for Donahue Physical Therapy to work their magic. I wish. His surgeon is sending us to this other place in Birmingham. You don't have to take him to Birmingham. Physical therapy is like a prescription for medicine. You can get it anywhere you want, like Donahue Physical Therapy. Really? I didn't know that. I thought we had to go where the doctor sends him. Nope, you can go to Donahue Physical Therapy right here in Sylacauga. Well, okay then. I'm calling Donahue Physical Therapy first thing in the morning. Get back to the action faster with Donahue Physical Therapy at their new location just a little further down West Fort William Street in Sylacauga. Your pain really starts here. The 
Aggie Sports Network is driven by right tire and service. Drive smoothly on the right tires and keep your ride in mint condition with the right parts. Right tire and service on West Fort Williams Street in Sylacauga. Aggie Sports Network driven by right tire and service. The Aggies have a second and goal from the four. Connor Twyman splits Rance Matchin out to the left. 3-10 to play first quarter. Aggies trail by one, eight to seven. Snap, CT lowers his shoulder, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, sniffed out a little bit too good by the Blue Devils defense there. Uh, but you know what? I love Connor Twyman. He wants, he, he wants the ball. He wants to be as physical as possible. CT back to the four, third and goal from the four. This game for the Aggies has been played in a phone booth so far. Here we go. 2.30 and counting first quarter. In the rain at Legion Stadium. Looking to take the lead. Rance matching, shotgun set to the right hip of Connor Twyman. CT rolling out, cuts back inside. Connor coming back near side, pushed back in the backfield and dropped at the 10. Football comes out on the right sideline. And Moody will recover at the 22. Wow. The play just wasn't there where CT wanted it, uh, not where it was designed, went to, went to change field, the direction on the field. And uh, that slick ball, that's that's going to be a problem. You got to guess Coach Smelly called that play to get the football at worst in the middle of the field for your kicker, Ethan Pruitt, Brent Ashley. But the Aggies turn it over and lose a chance to take the lead. Yeah, and that was exactly right, Jeremy. You know, Coach called to play. He wanted the ball toward the middle of the field, and when Connor seen that he really couldn't make anything happen, he, he that was one of those things to where I think the adrenaline took over, and he tried to make something happen as he come back to this side, and then Moody was just able to strip the ball out, and we turned it over to him. Moody with a football, giving it off to Burke. The Aggies crash on Burke early. He picks up two. To the 25. Thanks, Brent Ashley, for the sideline report. Doing a great job down there in the elements, is Brent Ashley. And looking sharp while he's doing it. He's so far away from the action over there. I have to get the binoculars out to see him. Surprised <laughs> he can see it. The action, he's so far away. Burke to the right hip of Johnston. Second and eight. Give to Burke again. He'll slip out of the backfield, but no, slung yes. down. Couldn't get away from Caden Matchin. Boy, the Aggies missed more tackles than they made last week, and that is a true stat. But they came to tackle tonight in one-on-one -on -one situation. Caden Matchin gets the job done and stops Blaine Burke at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, complete textbook heads-up play from Caden Matchin there, big number 44. He's going to be a problem for that line of scrimmage over there. Third down was a problem last week. Can the Aggies get off the field on third down? Defensive line switches spots, does Woods and Sumner. Johnston rolling under pressure, throws, overshoots his intended target. And Moody will have to punt it away. I'll say his name again, that number 44 getting in the quarterback's face. More pressure like that through the night. That quarterback don't care how good he is. He starts hearing footsteps inside that helmet. You get the footsteps in the helmet, get him to making bad decisions. You can play ball with anybody. Let's stay disciplined here. Punter will take the snap at the 12. Two men back deep. Well, we had two, but now it's just Q standing at his own 37. No penalties. Snap, kick up in the air. Q calls for the fair catch and takes it at the 37-yard line, and that's where the Aggies will set up shop on their third possession. 51.7 to play first quarter. Moody leads it 8-7 at Legion Stadium. Boy, the Aggies missed a golden opportunity to just take a lead, turned it over, but the defense comes through Matt Crocker that's, and forces a three and out. That's right. I mean, you, you couldn't draw up better plays right there for our defense. Standing nose-to-nose -nose with these big guys that they have on the offensive line, getting in the backfield, shaking things up, causing a bunch of disruptions, get the ball back. The offense still has that momentum going, but they got a little break on the sidelines just now. Let's just put it in the end zone, get some more points, and get ahead. Connor Twyman in the Aggie offense off the sideline. CT in the backfield with Matching. 
Connor Twyman. He's been everything so far in this first quarter. Three receivers to the near side, none to the far side. Here now on a first and 10 to give to Matchin. Jump cut for Rance. Picks up four out across the 40 to the 41. Great job by Rance on that. And good job by the offensive line giving him that, that hole to go through. Once he made contact, he just continued turning those legs, good, doing good footwork, rolled over and got his four yards. Game clock under 30 seconds now in the Donahue Physical Therapy first quarter. Eight to seven, Moody. Twyman now set with the offensive line. Three wide receivers in the formation. Game clock at 10, play clock at six. CT rolls left, looks, looks, and he'll be sacked back at the 30. Thunderbird at left tackle got pushed about 10 yards backwards and when Connor Twyman flipped his hips, had nowhere to go, and that is how the first quarter will end. We've played 12 minutes at Legion Stadium, eight to seven at Blue Devils on top. This is the Aggie Sports Network presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Let us find what you're looking for. Whether you're buying or selling a home, your success hinges upon the advice provided by your real estate agent. This is Blake Farr with Area Real Estate. I can help you understand how much house you can afford. If you're selling, I can estimate the value of your property and how to ensure your property sells quickly for the highest price possible. Stop by our office on West Fort William Street anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Let us find what you're looking for. Are roaring with hometown pride. Here at First Bank of Alabama, our bank family is cheering for your team too. We support all our local communities with state of the art banking. From checking to savings, construction loans, home equity, and home mortgages, we provide all of your consumer and commercial banking needs. We want you to bank how you want, whether it's online, in person, mobile, or telephone banking. We make it easy for you. Visit us at FirstBankAL.com to find the most convenient way for you to bank. First Bank of Alabama, where you are first. First Bank of Alabama, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Your pain relief starts here. Your pain relief starts here. Dry needling, compression ice therapy, electric stimulation, ultrasound, and good old-fashioned physical therapy. Donahue Physical Therapy has the tools and the combined 40 years of experience to help get you back to the action faster. Recover with Donahue. Gain relief and lose the pain today. Your pain relief starts here. Your pain relief starts here. Getting set for the start of this second quarter, Jeremy Law, Matt Crocker in the affordable heating and air broadcast booth. Brent Ashley, our sideline reporter tonight, now on a third and 15 after a sack for that moody offense. Aggies now moving left to right as we flip sides of the field in Cardinal uniforms, white pants, Cardinal helmets. Q Swain, the near side receiver, will give it off to Matchin, and the Aggies will live with the lead handoff and a chance. And that was C.J. Franklin with that handoff. Um, and the Aggies will kick it away. And let's go down to Brent Ashley to see if he has any word on He's actually listening in. And we'll try to get an update on Connor Twyman as he is limping over on the sideline. And that's one thing the Aggies just cannot have in this one is an injury to your starting quarterback. And now Sulacago will kick it away. It's Pruitt to accept the snap at the 25. And we'll go to Brent after this punt as the return man for Moody as this one hangs in the air. A high bounce and Madison is tackled down to the 31 and let's go down to Brent. Yeah, Jeremy, on that last play of that uh, of the first quarter when uh, CT got tackled, what he said was is as he went down, big number seven that had him in the grass behind him actually landed on the back side of his leg. Kind of tweaked him a little bit. He's, you know, he's in a little bit of pain but, uh, but uh, Todd Malone has got him. They're going to work him a little bit. He'll be back in there you know, real soon. He's not really hurt hard. It's just it fell on him odd, twisted him up a little bit. He'll be Thanks, Brent. A.J. Madison was a return man. Here's a handoff now to Blaine Burke on the first play. Burke skipping through the hole. Breaks two tackles, three tackles at the 45, 50. Jumps over Jamari Jeffries and finally slung out of bounds by Elijah Williams into Aggie territory. The big play, another one for Blaine Burke. Gets into Aggie territory at the 42. Yeah, we got to get a little bit more pressure on him, uh, seal the lineup, but uh, just too many yards on that from missed tackles. Remember, guys, fundamentals. Gunner. 
First and 10 into Aggie territory at the 42. Johnston, the quarterback. Hard count now looks over towards the sideline. He's got four, three receivers rather in the formation. Johnston a give, another handoff, big hole for Burt. Jump cut in the hole across the 35, slung ahead for a gain of nine. Yeah, that was just hard-nosed football on the left side of the offensive line, just opened a gaping hole up for him to run through. Uh, well, Moody, you know they challenged their offensive line after that three and out, Matt, and you can see that they have a heavy dose of Blaine Burke here to start the second quarter. It's an eight to seven Blue Devil lead with 10.30 left before halftime. Johnston, play action, looks, throws deep, right side, man open, incomplete. Had a man at the five in coverage, Corbin Patterson, a back shoulder throw one of the toughest plays to defend, but Corbin Patterson comes back and knocks the receiver out of bounds before he can get a foot in. Yeah, big play by Patterson there. Point out he is a sophomore. He is going to be one of our future Aggies, one of our studs that will be you'll be hearing his name many, many times for a few more years. Third and one. Johnson gives Burke first down at the 30, looks for the right sideline, cuts back up field inside of the 30 now to the 26. First and 10, Moody looking for the red zone. JT Sumner back in the game. Eliza Williams will come out. The Aggies will, Eliza Williams not out. Chris Woods will come out trying to keep some fresh legs across that defensive line. Yeah, they got the first down, but I don't hate what I saw from Landon Burns and Jamari Jeffries containing down that line of scrimmage, keeping him back. Could have been a lot worse. Unfortunately, they got the first down, but good job. Hand off again, matching again, makes the play after a very short game. Maybe didn't even get a yard, second and 10. You know, like I said, matching is going to be tough to handle around that end. Plays like a big guy. He's not much taller than his brother Rance, but uh, both of them play, like I said, with a with a heart of a line. Second and ten, running back, nowhere to go. Got one yard to the 25, third and nine Blue Devils from the Silicaga 25. And blowing that play up, Jeremy, was big. Uh, Lionel Cheneau, our freshman, number 37. He was able to get a hand on him, two hands on him, and match and finish the deal. Made to seven, Moody, third and nine. From the, the Aggie, 25-yard line, Johnston, Gibbs, Burke, Pushed in the backfield, pushed in the backfield. The Aggies will get him down. Go. Burke dropped that to 22. Burke made us look silly on one jump cut, but Landon Burns able to get two hands on him and drag him down at the 22-yard line. And it looks like Moody will keep the offense on here on a fourth and seven. That's right. Do not lose this momentum, guys. You got him held back. This is a talented team. Don't give him any extra yards than what we have to. Second quarter, handoff, Burke, big hole. Did he get the first down? It's close. It's going to be very, very close. The Aggie offense coming out. Did they get it? They're going to measure. But I'm going to tell you, Jeremy and Brent, what an effort that we've seen from our uh, defense this week. Tremendous effort, playing some hard-nosed football. They'll stretch the chains. Did Moody get it? First down, Aggies. First Blaine down, Burke Aggies. Blaine Burke did not get it. And Moody turns it over on downs. What a statement by the defense on that series right there, Jeremy. Able to stop them almost in their red zone. Just huge, huge opportunity here to put some more points on the board. What a stand for the Aggie defense. And it did look like 
C.J. Franklin came out on the field, and will it be C.J.? Yep. Yep, number 18, C.J. Franklin. Here's C.J. Franklin wearing 18 in Cardinal. Connor Twyman on the sideline. And it, an injured leg at the last play of the first quarter. Cottingham in motion. Here's C.J. giving it off to Matchin. Matchin finds a lane, picks up three, picks up four to the 21. Yeah, C.J. is he is a sophomore. He's going to be the face of the Aggies uh, come next year. Being that uh, Coach Chris Smelly is a quarterback's man, he would not put a guy out there he did not trust. So I have faith in this young man, uh, C.J. Franklin. He's going to do good things for the Aggies. Second and six. Well, C.J. put in a tough spot. Franklin awaits the snap. It's a low snap. Giving it off to Rance. Finds a hole. Rance first down. Runs Good over job. a Blue Devil. That's a great heads up play for him to pick up. That's a slick ball. Uh, could happen to anybody. Picked it up at his, at his feet. And great job by Rance Match and able to gather those yards to get the first down. First and 10 Aggies moving the sticks as the junior Rance Matching wearing the 33 in Cardinal and White. Lionel Cheneau and Gordon in the game at tight end. Eight to seven Moody with 6.35 and counting in the second quarter. Franklin rolls out right, gets past two Blue Devils and he's drugged down in the backfield for a loss of two back at the 25. CJ tried to let the lane open up but it was closed out quickly by two or three Moody defenders, and it'll be second and 12 from the 25. That's right, he, he's a tremendous athlete, young, get those feet up. Uh, he's gonna do good things, just wasn't able to get away from it that time. First possession of the year for C.J. Franklin at quarterback. Midway through the second quarter, C.J. looking, throwing, Q. Swain makes the catch, gets two feet in. And he's going to be close to the first down. He's a yard short. Third and very short for the Aggies. And now you will get an official's timeout. Brent and, excuse me, Matt will take one, two, eight to seven. Moody with 5.51 left, second quarter. Orthopedics is here. Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine welcomes back orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Anthony Tropiano. From sports injuries to wear and tear as you age, Dr. Tropiano treats most types of orthopedic injuries. Dr. Tropiano is temporarily located at 120 South Aniston Avenue, across from the hospital. Call today for an appointment, 256-401-4196. That's 256-401-4196 for Dr. Anthony Tropiano at Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. In the last 25 years, we've had five presidents. We now have smartphones instead of landlines. Computers went from 250 megabytes to terabyte hard drives. Netflix didn't exist, but we had Movie Gallery. There have been a lot of changes in the last 25 years, but Albia Steers has been your good neighbor State Farm agent all that time with the same great coverage State Farm built their reputation on. it. And Albia Steers is still here for you now with rates to fit your budget. Come see him on Broadway, just north of Jackson, Sylacauga. Right time. Third and one. After the officials' timeout, brought to you by Silicaga Parks and Recreation. CJ Gibbs, Matchin needs to fight. Matchin does, gets the first down and then some across the 40 to the 41 yard line. You got to love that push from the offensive line. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, just a junior ranch matching. Uh, great job by him. Great job by CJ Franklin. CJ, you've got a couple plays under your belt, got a couple draws, got a complete pass under your belt. The Time only to set in. complete pass for the Aggies in this game, and only the second attempt for the Aggies in this game. First and 10 from their own 41 are the Aggies. After a big fourth down stop, the Aggies with the football in a nail biter in the first half 
against Moody. Eight to seven, Blue Devils with the lead. Both teams with a touchdown. CJ looking deep right sideline, firing for Q. Up, Q, oh. did he make the catch? He did. Whoa. Q Swain over two defenders at the 29-yard line. Wow. Great one-handed catch. What an incredible effort by Q Swain. Great job, C.J. Franklin, putting it on the money. You have your big 6'3 receiver out there. Put it up where only he can catch it. Jump over those uh, defensive backs and bring the ball down. First and 10 at the Moody 29 after a big pass from C.J. Franklin. C.J. gives matching. He'll fight for a couple. He'll pick up two. Boy, the Aggies, this, you got to remember, they'd be leading this game right now if not for a fumble inside of the 10. It's 8-7 to seven, Moody with 4.45 left in the second quarter, and we'll go down to Brent Ashley after this play. 8-7 Moody as the Aggies driving in the Blue Devil territory. Well, we maybe should have gone to Brent at that play as head of referee. Pete Story trying to get those laces tied. 12 on the play clock, 420 on the game clock, second quarter. CJ gets the snap, give, matching. No running room there. Picks up one to the 26 and let's go down to Brent. Hey, guys, right now, the, it's just electric down here. The guys are really up. They're really pushing. They're really, really pushing for C.J. They're telling C.J. right now, you can hear them hollering from the sidelines, hey, stay tough, keep it going, keep it going, lead us, lead us. And that right now, the, that catch by Q Swain just proves that when they're, you know, one of their best players is on the sidelines and can't get back to them, that they're going to continue to fight and continue to move forward and try to get this ball in the end zone. But great catch by Q Swain. CJ giving it off to Matchin again. Matchin pushed ahead. What did he get to the 23? But we need the 19. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, that was that was all Rance on that one. He actually had his offensive lineman behind him pushing him, helping him get an extra yard or a yard and a half on that carry. Fourth. And three after a four-yard carry for Matching. We need the 19. We're at the 22. And how big was that throw and catch us to loosen this defense up? Press man on Swain now. As a timeout has been called by Moody. Their first timeout of the half. 8-7 Moody. But the Aggies threatening again with 2.51 left second quarter. This is the Aggie Sports Network presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. It's always a good day when your morning starts off with fresh hot coffee, cappuccino or latte options from Allen Brew Market. And if you need some extra energy to make it through the day, Allen Brew Market has monster energy drinks, snacks and candy for that quick afternoon pick-me-up. At Allen Brew Market, they mean it when they say fuel for your car and fuel for your body. You're all in with Allen, oh yeah, Allen Brew Markets. Our lives are stressful. Financing a car shouldn't be. Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union makes car loans easy. And easy is good. Get your pre-approval online or in our apps. Take your pre-approved letter to the dealer and simply sign the docs when you pick up your car. Not a member? No worries. Join right from the dealership. See a list of participating dealers at coosapinesfcu.org. Click on borrowing, then auto loans. It's that easy. And shouldn't something be? Federal Insurance, NCUA. Welcome back to the Aggie Sports Network presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. The Aggies will face a fourth and three with backup quarterback, sophomore C.J. Franklin. Fourth and three from the Moody 22. Aggies trail 8-7. We'll give it off, matching. Pushing the pile are the Aggies. We needed the 19 and he didn't get it. He got two and a half. They both have him spotted at the 20 and the Moody defense forces the Aggies to turn it over on downs. Wow, that's a heartbreaker right there. Boy, I, Rant, Rance is pleading and so is Miles McCullough saying that, boy, we pushed the pile, but both line judges come in and say the drive is halted. 
at the 20 yard line. Moody with the stop. It's not for lack of effort. I, I thought we had it great. I mean. In dry weather, Matt, you probably snap it to your holder and let Ethan boom it through. But at right. 30, what well, that would actually been from about what? 39 yards, a tough kick in this weather as it's still raining at Legion Stadium. Handoff, Blaine Burke, big hole for Burke. The Aggies do come up and make the tackle. That was Tank Fluker getting a big time tackle on a big running back in Blaine Burke, but this Moody offense will go fast. Second and three, give to Burke again. Behind the pulling guards is Burke. Breaks a couple tackles, gets the first down, but the Aggies keep Burke in the box, which is exactly what they need to do. That's right, Landon Burns had him around the ankles on that one. Uh, unfortunately, they got the first, but they, it was broken up at the line. 8-7 Moody. Yasin gives Burke again. Slips a tackle for Menage, who slid off the back. Burke picks up six, second and four. Got out to the 37. Moody yeah. in their two-minute offense, a minute and 50 on the clock before halftime. Brent Ashley will have one question with Coach Chris Smelly as the Aggies go into the locker room. Stay tuned for that for, before the Star Physical Therapy halftime show. How big would it be to get the stop? Shovel toss to Burke, holding on Moody. This one's going to be backed up. Here's Burke out across the 50. Just let him run, boys. That's right. It's this one is coming back. Yeah, if you look down at number 47, Nolan Gordon's jersey, you can tell who was who was being held and who the penalty was Jackson drawn on. Jackson uh, Huckaba yeah. with the hold, the left tackle for the Blue Devils. Boy, I tell you, some of those Winona guys had some athleticism. But I, I know the people watching can see it, but those on radio, what Blaine Burke – is doing east to west is very impressive. Oh, no doubt. And even that uh, on the on the toss there, it was mishandled, but he was able to come down with it, concentrate on the football, get both hands on it, and then look upfield and, and, and go. Second and 13. Backed up now to their own 29-yard line is Moody in the white jerseys, white pants, white helmets that say 4'11". Throw out to the right, nearly intercepted. Corbin Patterson. Played the football, but it was tipped up in the air. Corbin tried to get a hand on it, but it falls incomplete. Now a third and 13 with the clock stopped with a minute and eight left before halftime. Yeah, it has some subs coming in. Uh, we mentioned Nolan Gordon. This will be uh, his first appearance on defense. We got big Nebrinikin McElrath in on the line. Third and 13, Moody. Johnston. Looking, rolling right, under pressure, throws underneath. The Aggies need to come up and make a tackle, and we do, and we get him out of bounds with a minute to play. Well, maybe they didn't. Right on the sideline, the clock winding with 54 seconds to play, fourth and seven. Fourth and six, actually, at the 36-yard line. Moody, are they going to go for this? Or they may just look to get the Aggies in the neutral zone as they're still looking at the sideline, but the offense up to the line of scrimmage. They're going to try to bleed this game clock all the way down to about 14 seconds or so is as deep as they can get it. 15 on the play clock, 28 on the game clock. Now the quarterback, Johnston, will drop back into a punt set. The Aggies will send Caleb Story deep. And Moody, they'll either... Take a delay of game, or did they get the timeout they did? Let's stay here. Silicaga Parks and Recreation timeout. Brent Ashley, this first half's not over, I don't, but I'm not sure the Aggies could have played it any better. Oh, absolutely not. 14.9 left, and right here we could actually get the ball back and have one, possibly two more plays before the half ends. I know I said just 14.9 seconds, but here Moody has got to make the decision of whether to punt this thing back or either go for this. But right now, the most impressed I've been all night long. And you know, last week we were kind of hard on both the offensive line and the defensive line and how they were playing, but tonight they're coming off the ball so much faster than they did last week. It is amazing at how our defensive ends are just beating these big tackles. You know, and I've always said, you know, you may have size, but you've got to be able to move. And right now, Silicaga is the athleticism of our defensive line is just blowing by these guys, and it is creating havoc. 
on these Moody Blue Devils. Thanks, Brent. I'm giving you a raise if you just stick to this question. Calls. Coach, great first half. Your thoughts? $20 <laughs> extra just for that one right there. Here we go. Take Eight, the money and run, Brent. 14.9. That means you're making more money than me tonight. <laughs> Eight to seven, low snap. Back to the punter. Boy, just get away from the football. Let it roll. I don't care if it rolls all the way to the two. Get out of the way. Take a knee, and we'll go to halftime. The clock stops with three. Now 2.9 left. As Brent actually may be the happiest person in this stadium as he gets to interview Coach Chris Smelly with the Aggies just down by one in at the end of the first half. And this team, we'll talk about it at halftime, Matt and Brent, but listen, they've been told all week they can't win this game. Right. People, they've been on social media. They've been watching. They, they heard the community mumbling and grumbling about the loss last week. Not a lot of quit. And this group of guys who prepared as well as they could have for this game with a team with, quite frankly, some elite talent on it. 2.9 to play. The Aggies will most likely take a knee here with C.J. Franklin. Here's the snap. C.J. gets on a knee, and the Aggies will take a one-point deficit into the locker room. We will wait for Coach. Chris Smelly to meet up with our sideline reporter, Brent Atchley. As Brent Atchley making his way over to Coach Smelly, and we will go down to Brent. Brent. Yeah, bring one in there, Coach Smelly, great first half. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, that's just fun football. You know, we kind of challenged our guys, as we saw what the conditions were like, which they've let up a little bit, but everything's soaking wet, and, you know, it's hard to throw the ball. It's fun, physical, uh, you know, football that you don't get to play a lot. You don't get to play a lot of games like this. You know, this is one you're going to remember, especially if we come out and take care of business in the second half. Well, Coach, good luck second half. Go get them ready. $20 raise for Brent I Ashley. know it. Eight to he seven. Aggies trail by one at the break. We'll be back with a Star Physical Therapy halftime show. These are roaring with hometown pride. Here at First Bank of Alabama, our bank family is cheering for your team too. We support all our local communities with state-of-the-art banking. From checking to savings, construction loans, home equity, and home mortgages, we provide all of your consumer and commercial banking needs. We want you to bank how you want. Whether it's online, in-person, mobile, or telephone banking, we make it easy for you. Visit us at firstbankal.com to find the most convenient way for you to bank. First Bank of Alabama, where you are first. First Bank of Alabama, member FDIC, equal housing lender. It's always a good day when your morning starts off with fresh hot coffee, cappuccino, or latte options from Allen Brew Market. And if you need some extra energy to make it through the day, Allen Brew Market has monster energy drinks, snacks, and candy for that quick afternoon pick me up. At Allen Brew Market, they mean it when they say fuel for your car and fuel for your body. You're all in with Allen, oh yeah. Did you know Garris Pawn is the largest firearm retailer in Talladega County with one of the largest firearm selections? That's special. Garris Music has it all for the instrument enthusiast. Guitars, drums, keyboards, and more. That's special. And Garris Tax Service will get you the most back on your tax return at the beginning of the new year. Now that's special. Drop by Garris Specialties today. You never know what you'll find. Garris Specialties, behind Pete's Feed and Seed on West 2nd Street, Sylacauga. Todd Malone is your trusted physical therapist and athletic trainer at Star Physical Therapy. For over a decade, Todd's been improving mobility and life quality in Sylacauga and South Talladega County. Star Physical Therapy offers advanced technology and personalized care for optimal recovery. Don't let pain stop you. Discover the star difference. Online at starphysicaltherapy.net. Schedule an appointment today. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga. Plus, Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. It's a $29 summer sales event. Every vehicle, just $29 down, 29 bucks, 700 new Nissans. Plus, acres of only the best pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. All just $29 down, 29 bucks. Plus, 0% financing, 0% for 60 months. And at Sarah Nissan, you get a lifetime warranty, no charge, engine, powertrain, and more. 0% 
in financing for 60 months. And if you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at three locations, Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. 0% on select models. 23 Centra PY270453. MSRP 25,075. Sell price 24129 down. 385 a month for 75 months at 5.99% APR. Plus tax tag title to qualified buyers. This is the Star Physical Therapy Halftime Show on the Aggie Sports Network. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one. Star Physical Therapy Halftime Show. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one. Brent Crocker. Huh, boy, where wow. are my guys? You really missed it. Brent Adler, that Matt Crocker, Jeremy Long, <laughs> the Aggie Sports Network. Thanks for joining us. As this is the Star Physical Therapy Halftime Show again, waiting for Brent to come back up to the booth. Matt Crocker, what a first half. I know it, man. Uh, you know, you mentioned it before. They've been hearing it all week. There's no way that they can. Uh, there's no way that they're going to win this game. They hear it. I mean, in, in the halls at school, and how discouraging is that? The guys who will not come out to play football talking bad, talking down to our guys about this game. But, I mean, I hope that crow tastes fine because they are playing lights out right now. Don't let the score fool you with a one-point deficit. My goodness, there, there's plenty of fight in these guys. We just need to return to the second half. Uh, whatever adjustments they see that needed to be made on the defense, execute that, go down to what you've been coached, and like we said before, execute those fundamentals down to down to wrap up tackling, uh, hard nosed football. We might see something pretty exciting tonight. Well, I hope you're right, Matt Crocker. Boy, the Aggies indeed came into this game to play and play they have. Boy, they worked hard this week. Listen, there's not a guy in that locker room, not a coach in that locker room that didn't think the Aggies could at a minimum come out and compete and fight and play hard in this ball game. Brent actually. Um, as um, but we'll stay. We'll actually stay up here with us right now. But man, there's not a coach or player in the locker room, Brent, that didn't think they could come out and compete. And boy, they were busting their tails here in the first half. Yeah. I just have to say this: the message from Coach Smelly to that team the entire first half was the first thing he said to him was "keep smiling." keep smiling and then the second thing he said he said be aggressive and stay after them and he said good things will happen that's all he kept saying to them the entire time down here and i tell you the Yankees had a somewhat loose week of practice not that they didn't practice hard obviously but uh and they had some music on the side unless they needed to get last week out of the, yeah. the taste out of their mouth but still you got to turn your attention down to this game this week they put last week behind the matt crocker Put Moody, the next team on the schedule, up in front of them. And listen, they, there's 24 more minutes left in this game. We're not here to say the Aggies are sure fire going to win this ball game, but they're going right. to compete until the final whistle. That's right, and and that's the mentality that they should have. When when you come into a game, no matter who your opponent is, don't worry about their their win loss record. Don't worry about how many uh, uh, Division One commits they have. Go out. It's a game that each one of these kids love to play. Go out and play it. I mean, and even coming out in the second half, to those guys in their mind, it is not eight to seven. They're not down by one point. It's zero to zero. It's a brand new game when they come out here in the second half. After the adjustments have been made, uh, just execute. We're going to see what happens. I, I feel like we're going to see a little bit more excitement here in the second half from the Aggies after after they've had a chance to look at what happened in the first half and where to improve. This is the Star Physical Therapy Halftime Show. I want to thank some of our major sponsors here on the Aggie Sports Network, Coosa Valley Medical Center, Star Physical Therapy, Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, Toyota of Silicaga and Affordable Heating and Cooling, and we could not bring you all these broadcasts without all of our sponsors. If you hear them in the opening and closing credits, make sure you shop with them. If you're in need for a service that they offer, they make broadcasts like this happen. But, guys, football last year was 10 out of the, I think, 97 games 
that we broadcasted last year, not even including streams from our huddle focus cameras that are brought to you by Central Alabama Community College and Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. So, man, they make all this happen. Football is a small part of what we do on the Aggie Sports Network, something we take pride in. But, boy, it is fun when the Aggies are out here competing. Yeah. Let, let, me, just, let me just give another plug on that, too. What Radio Alabama does uh, as a whole for all of our surrounding athletics programs, we see it firsthand with the, uh, the Aggie Sports Network. Uh, it's second to none. The amount of equipment, the amount of time, the, both from uh, Jeremy and Michael, you know, working hard to put all hey, of this together. Michael got here at 5.30 today. Okay. Uh, but we'll give him a pass. <laughs> I think he beat me here, so I assumed he'd been here all day. But, I mean, it's second to none. Uh, Lee Perryman, you know, leading this company the way that he is, just a, a great a great group of guys to work with, a great company to work with. Uh, I just had to give you guys a shout-out. All, all the equipment, the new equipment we're getting used to this year down on the sidelines, uh, but it's top-notch. Well, Brent already got my last $20, Matt, so you can't – there's none left for you. But I, I, we do appreciate you saying that because you're not I'll, a full-time employee. I'll take an IOU. At Radio Alabama. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe free food next week at hey. Bandits for Aggie Talk. Uh, that will – Moody's band will wrap up their halftime performance. The Aggie band set to take center stage here at Legion Stadium. We're going to bring you that here on the field. And that's brought to you by Ricky Decent Insurance and Investments. want to thank him for allowing us to bring you the Aggie Band. For home games, at least, excuse me, for road games, at least on the radio, but for home games on live video and radio for all of the listeners. The Aggie Band, boy, I tell you, you got, you got that trinity of sports, if you will, cheerleaders, band, football. It all goes in to making this environment, and they deserve to be honored as well for all of their hard work. And, when the football team's out here practicing, you know, during the summer in the morning, the band's got to come out here when that turf is nice and hot around oh, 11 yeah. and 12, and they worked hard all summer long under band director Samuel Childs and looking forward to their first home performance. At halftime, it's Moody 8, Silicaga 7, as the Aggie band getting set to take the field putting up some of the finishing touches. And we will step aside and bring you the Silicaga Marching Aggie Band brought to you by Ricky Deason Investments and Insurance. He presents the 2023 Silicaga High School Marching Aggie Band. This year, we're about to announce our half of the I'm your the leading global producer of industrial and a worldwide distributor of on the 2023 field show is titled Emotion. Emotion is the title of the 2023 Silicaga High School Marching Aggie Band Field Production. Tonight we will be presenting part one, part two, and part three of our fall production. Songs tonight in three, I'm very featured in the conference. We invite you now to sit back, relax, and chill as we present the show of emotion. <laughs> Drum major Colin Bowen is the Philadelphia High School marching Aggie band ready.
your Silicaga High School Marching Aggie Band brought to you by Ricky Decent Investments and Insurance. And that will wrap up the Star Physical Therapy Halftime Show second half when we come back. Your score at the break. Moody 8, Silicaga 7. This is the Aggie Sports Network presented by Coosa Pies Federal Credit Union. Ricky Decent, Are you wishing for a great retirement? Planning for one is even better. An IRA can help you take the right steps toward your retirement goals, no matter how close you are to that big day. It's not too late to save. Get your future going by stopping in at 525 North Broadway Avenue in Sylacauga, and let's talk about your future. It's Ricky Decent Insurance and Investments in downtown Sylacauga. Building your tomorrow. Todd Malone is your trusted physical therapist and athletic trainer at Star Physical Therapy. For over a decade, 
Todd's been improving mobility and life quality in Sylacauga and South Talladega County. Star Physical Therapy offers advanced technology and personalized care for optimal recovery. Don't let pain stop you. Discover the star difference. Online at starphysicaltherapy.net. Schedule an appointment today. Did you know that CVMC now offers a full retail pharmacy? Coosa Valley Apothecary offers easy prescription transfers, convenient location, and low prices every day. Whether you need a prescription filled, are looking for over-the-counter products, or just have questions for our pharmacists, stop in for the personalized service of an independent, community-based pharmacy. Avoid a second stop after your hospital discharge with the Meds to Bed service. It allows you to fill your prescriptions before you go home. Coosa Valley Apothecary, located conveniently on the ground floor of Coosa Valley Medical Center. Earlene's Flowers has over 60 years experience in the flower business. As a matter of fact, they're the oldest florist in Talladega County. With a variety of fresh cut flowers every day, various plants and balloons, they can create the perfect arrangement for birthdays, anniversaries, congratulations, retirement, or just thinking of you. They also do fruit snack baskets and silk arrangements, including urns and saddles for cemeteries. Earlene's Flowers on Highway 21 in Sylacauga, 256-245-5235, 256-245-5235. Well, my name is Alicia Frazier. I've been with Milo's for 10 years now. I started as a crew member, and then I became assistant manager. Then all of a sudden, it was like, hey, Alicia, we want you to be a GM. I'm like, me? No, not me. They was like, yeah, you're ready. I said, okay, well, fine. So I became a GM for two years. Now I'm training other assistant managers. I train crew members, and I also train GMs. It's a challenge every day, you know, but it's a good challenge. Are you or someone elderly you know needing a little extra help? It may be time to think about assisted living. Spring Terrace Assisted Living offers innovative health care with personalized service and an inspiring social environment. The residences have comfortable living rooms with fireplaces, large covered porches and patios, and beautifully landscaped gardens. Restaurant-style dining is available as well as a beauty salon. And crafts, activities, and events are catered to ability. Interested? Call to schedule a tour at 256-245-6611. That's 256-245-6611. Don't get burned with rising interest rates and limited inventory. Contact the Girls on Fire lending team at Movement Mortgage. Whether you're refinancing or purchasing, they want to be your mortgage lending team for life. Check out Movement Mortgage Silicaga on Facebook, where you can also apply for a mortgage 24-7 with the Apply Now button. Or contact Movement Mortgage at 256-365-0294. Movement Mortgage LLC supports equal housing opportunity in MLS number 39179. For licensing information, please visit nmlsconsumeraccess.org. It's always a good day when your morning starts off with fresh hot coffee, cappuccino, or latte options from Allen Brew Market. And if you need some extra energy to make it through the day, Allen Brew Market has monster energy drinks, snacks, and candy for that quick afternoon pick me up. At Allen Brew Market, they mean it when they say fuel for your car and fuel for your body. You're all in with Allen, oh yeah. Allen Brew Markets. lives are stressful. Financing a car shouldn't be. Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union makes car loans easy. And easy is good. Get your pre-approval online or in our apps. Take your pre-approved letter to the dealer and simply sign the docs when you pick up your car. Not a member? No worries. Join right from the dealership. See a list of participating dealers at coosapinesfcu.org. Click on borrowing, then auto loans. It's that easy. And shouldn't something be? Federal Insured is UA. Imagine an unforgettable evening filled with laughter, mouth-watering food, and beautiful ambiance. Harvey's on Noble is the perfect destination for a romantic dinner date, a night of relaxation, or even making memories at your special event. Nestled in the heart of Sylacauga, we're open Wednesday through Saturday, ready to serve you an experience that will have you coming back for more. Don't wait. Plan your perfect night now. Visit us online at harveysonnoble.com and let the magic begin. You're listening to the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, the official broadcast partner of Sylacauga High School Athletics. Aggie Sports Network official broadcast partner of Sylacauga Athletics, Jeremy Law, Matt Crocker, <laughs> Brent Ashley down on the sideline. We are in the affordable hitting and air broadcast booth. 
And we'll go to Bryn actually after this kickoff with an update on our quarterback, Connor Twyman. Um, we'll get the latest on Connor Twyman's injury. Maybe not the total details, but his status for the rest of tonight's ball game. Aggie set to get the football first. Marino has it teed up, and he puts a big leg into this one as Q Swain will watch it skip into the end zone. And let's go down to Brent with an update on Connor Twyman. Brent. Hey, guys. Yeah, right at the end of that first quarter, Connor kind of went down. The uh, defender that had him from behind kind of rolled him up on his knee a little bit, and it's been tweaked ever since. They took him in the locker room. They iced him down real well, brought him back out in a brace. But he's over here with me right now. He's got his helmet sitting on the table. He's just not going to push it tonight because Franklin's doing a great job out there. He told me a while ago, he said, look, he said, that young man can do just as well as I can, so I'm going to cheer him on and cheer my team on and push us forward. Also, Jakari Cottingham's got a slight hand uh, tweak. He got it caught between two helmets right at the beginning of the second quarter, but he's got it wrapped up. He's out there ready to go, but, but Connor Twyman's going to be here with me right now, and I uh, don't think he'll be seeing the field the rest of the game. Thanks, Brent. Aggies handed off on the first play. Moody selling out for the run, drops the Aggies for a two-yard loss. Back at the 18, it was first and 10 at the 20. Aggies moving right to left in Cardinal helmets, Cardinal jerseys, white pants. Moody. White from top to bottom. Silicaga trailing eight to seven. Both teams scoring an early first quarter touchdown and scoreless ever since. Yeah, you got to go back and give it to Connor on that. True sportsman, uh, unselfish, completely unselfish. And, and this is exactly what he needs to do, bow out. CJ's got the hot hands right now, did really good in the first half. BCJ's cheerleader well, right there on the sidelines. And you got a region game next week. That's right. And uh, the Aggies take an early second half timeout. We'll take one with them. 11 12 left, third quarter. Aggies trail by one. This is the Aggie Sports Network from Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Dr. Jonathan Douglas with Broadway Spinal Care. I think you'd be surprised at what we do in our office. We deal with a lot of concussions. We deal with a lot of rib fractures. We help people with migraine headaches. We deal with a lot of spinal issues that are not just pain. We do a lot of imaging in our office because we feel like if we're going to be working with your spine, we need to see your spine. We send for a lot of MRIs. And if you've been bouncing from doctor to doctor, come see doctors Jonathan and Tara Douglas at Broadway Spinal Care to see if they can help you. At Heritage Freight, they take pride in delivering excellence. With their state-of-the-art warehousing facilities and a fleet of reliable trucks, it's a team effort to ensure your goods are delivered on time, every time. From small packages to large cargo, they work tirelessly to streamline the supply chain. When we embrace the power of teamwork, we create a future where possibilities are limitless. Heritage Freight is proud to support all of our area sports teams in Talladega County. Back after that Silicaga Parks and Rec timeout, second and 12. Aggies backed up inside of their own 20. From the 18, give matching again. With a couple pancakes on this play. Football came out. It's a fumble picked up by Moody. Football still loose. Who finally came up with it? Moody did. And they have it inside of the Aggie 10. That's a tough break for the Aggies right there. It did pop out a few times. I thought we had a couple chances at it, but Moody definitely came up with it around on their 10-yard line. Second turnover of the night. One happened inside of the Moody 10 where the Aggies were going to kick a field goal and attempt to take a 10-8 to eight lead. This one happens where it just can't happen. Fumble at the 18-yard line. Moody picks it up around the 10. Yeah. Again, plagued by that wet ball. Gonna be slick. The the managers on the sides do a do a good job trying to keep it wet, but those towels that they or keep it dry. But those towels that they're using are getting wet. So it's it's just gonna be a challenge for the rest of the ball game. Even though we don't have any rain going on right now, everything's still soaking wet out there. Just a really tough break for our Aggies. Well, the defense has gotten a few stops tonight, but you're asking them to do something that's tough to do. Come out after a turnover when you're expecting your offense to either at least punt it away, but not only that, do you come out after a turnover 
It's first and goal at the 10 for Moody. Yeah, and this is where I look for those big guys like JT Sumner to really stick their nose in there and disrupt the play. 10-54, Moody snaps it to Burke. Big hole, Burke, one play touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run, Blaine Burke. Boy, the left side of that offensive line got a couple of key blocks, and Blaine Burke walks into the end zone. A one-play, 10-yard touchdown drive for Moody, and it's 14-7 pending the PAT try. Yeah, this is one of the things we cannot let happen. We know, we know the athletes they have on their side of the ball. We've done a good job hanging with them and stopping them. We cannot make well, Moody. anything easy. They're trying to go up 16 to seven and make this a two possession game. They went for two earlier and got it, but it was out of their swinging gate. Now, if Moody gets this one, the Aggies will have an uphill battle for sure. Johnston, the quarterback, Burke to his right hip. Johnston looking, throwing, Burke, no one covered him, wide open. And he gets in, and 16 to seven, Moody. Brent, this Aggie defense was just put in a tough situation. And now Moody leads it by nine with 10.43 left in the third. Yeah, they were put in a tough situation, but right there before the turnover, Coach Smelly was begging Lee's, look, you've got to call forward progress. Forward progress was stopped before the ball came out, but the officials didn't stop the play. And then there, there was definitely, you know, as you look at the play, if you go back and see a replay of it, you know, you've got a really just a, an all-off screen, and that left Brooks wide open, and our defender could not get to him as they needed to be. And that's what Coach Smelly's doing right now is just giving the officials an earful because that play should have never happened. Aggie return team out on the field. One play touchdown run for Blaine Burke, and then Blaine Burke also the receiver on the two-point play. Aggies down by nine with 10.43 left in the third quarter. Time to test the resiliency of this team. When bad things happen, you can't let it snowball. And there's a flag that came out as soon as Moody broke the huddle saying a legal substitution and they will back this ball up five yards or do the Aggies have 12 men in their formation? Well, the Aggies have 11. And uh, wave it off. Blue and so does Moody. Ball. There are 22 out there. Marino to kick it left to right again. Toe to leather at the 40-yard line. A high, short kick. Moody was off sides. Got a head start. And that one went out of bounds again. The Aggies would have had it at the 35. Yeah, I can't blame that one on the rain, Jeremy. That's, that's just lack of focus and lack of concentration, but we'll take the yards. They'll do it again from the 35-yard line now. Thanks for joining us. However you are joining us, whether that's radio on WSGN or on live video, we appreciate you choosing the Aggie Sports Network, the official broadcast partner of Silicaga Athletics. 16-7, your score. Moody with a nine-point lead now. Marino this time puts a big leg into this kick. Q Swain watches it go over his head and it will yeah. just roll into the end zone. Nearly dangerous as Silicago will set up shot first and 10 at their own 20. Yeah, proud to see that. I, I thought it was going to stick around the two or the one. We'd be stuck back with our, with our arms tied behind our backs. Uh, fortunate it rolled in there. Now let's put all the pass behind us and let's go to work, Aggies. 
A big blow to Silicaga with Connor Twyman leaving the game, but C.J. Franklin has led this team down the field on two separate occasions. C.J. was able to hone in on those halftime adjustments in the locker room. C.J. with Rance behind him. Two receivers near side. Q. Swain to the far side. A single safety over the top of this Moody defense. will hand it off to Matchin. As he'll push ahead for three to the 23. Yeah, again, a good job by the offensive line. I wish Rance would have seen the hole that they opened here on the left side of the line. Uh, pretty wide open. We could have got some pretty big yards on that carry. We talked about the importance of being able to run the football for Silicon in this game, take some of the air out of the game, take some of the time off the clock, be able to battle throughout this game. Where the Moody defense stand, well, they have ran the ball pretty effectively so far through the first half. CJ now all by himself in the backfield. Looking, firing, lost one over to Bryce Soden who lets it slip through his hands incomplete. It was a wobbly throw to Bryce that may have hit his hands sideways and Bryce couldn't handle it and now the Aggies will face a third and long with the clock stopped at 9.53 third quarter. Yeah, on that one, you usually don't see Bryce miss those easy passes like that. It was. It was a little wobbly, just hit him, hit him kind of weird in the hands. Wasn't able to come up with it. This didn't look like it came out of CJ's hand the way that we're accustomed to see him when it's a dry football game as the rain is still at just probably above a sprinkle. Here at Legion Stadium, third and seven, Moody showing blitz off the right side of the offensive line. And a flag came down and this might be the delay of game, and it is. Now third and 12. Yeah, going back to what you said, we just cannot allow these negative things that have happened in the past two series to snowball out of control. We, we got to get back under it, pull those chin, chin straps tight, and get after it. Third and 12, CJ standing in, looking, man wide open behind the defense. Ja'Cory makes the catch 50. Ja'Cory 45, 40, 35, 30, Cottingham 20, 15, 10, 5. Catch. Touchdown, Aggies. Touchdown, Aggies. Cottingham to the house under the lights at Legion Stadium. Way to go, Ja'Cory Cottingham. I knew when they lined him up in the slot, when they put him in that position starting into summer, I knew he was going to be dangerous. When that ball is put exactly in his hands, you can't catch him. Hey, what an 82-yard touchdown play. Incredible. And we talked about it. Silicaga had six of those opportunities last week, got none of them. CJ to Jakari to the house. And Silicaga back within one score. Ethan Pruitt on for the extra point. It is up. And it is through. 16-14. Aggies strike back. And let's go down to Brent Ashley. Brent. Guys, right now, this the sidelines just erupted, as you can tell. An 82-yard pass, you know, Jakari Cunningham all open. But the thing about it is, if you really looked at that interior line, the way those guys, they, they back, stood up, and they gave J.T. Franklin enough time to set himself and make the throw. But then Jakari, if you guys, just right as he made the catch, a defender was less than a yard and a half away from him. He had to stop make a cut to the left to get away from him, but then he immediately cut right back to the right, took the ball up under his arm, and was off to the races. Guys, it is electric down here. It is awesome. I'm loving this. Student section is going crazy still. It is just how we're all having a lot of fun. 16-14 is C.J. Franklin has completed three huge passes in this ball game, and I know we just mentioned it, Matt, but Coach Smelly, Coach Carr, boy, they drew up some pretty plays they last sure week. The Aggies did. didn't execute on this time. They scheme it up. And Sakari Cottingham behind the defense. 
And something that he preached during his show last night was capitalizing on those opportunities. And that's an exclamation point right there after that capital A. High and over end kick will be fair caught at the 34. On the catch there was Aiden Robinson. That's where Moody will take over. An electric play backed up third and 12. You're down two possessions. You couldn't afford to just punt it back to Moody, especially the way that some of these runs have gone for Blaine Burke. The Aggies roll the dice, take a deep shot, able to get a big time touchdown. That's right. Uh, like I said, I, I love the way that they have drawn up these plays and have them as much trust as they do in their sophomore quarterback. Johnston has to run out of bounds for a loss. He'll lose two, if not three, on this play. He'll say he's at the 32-yard line. Yeah, good job by big Chris Woods. I know he's a menace on that, on that front line, and he is a tremendous athlete to be able to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with the quarterback and drive him out of bounds. Here now on a second and 13, Johnston has Madison in motion. Hand off to Burke, big hold, darts through the Aggie defense, fights off one tackler, picks up about six. Now third and long for Moody from the 38-yard line. And that's what we were talking about earlier. You got Landon Burns that comes in and grabs him by the legs but does not let go. Wrap up, bring him down to the ground. Plays not over till the ref blows the whistle dead. Play until the whistle, guys. Tremendous effort. Third and seven with 8.50 to go in the third. 16-14, Moody on top. Johnston with Burke to his left hip, four wides in the formation. They'll split Burke out to the left. And a false start on Moody perhaps as a flag comes out on the far sideline. Go down and see what Pete calls. False start. Indeed a false start. So third and seven turns into third and 12, and we hope there's a different result on this third and 12 as we just had on the other side. Yeah. Third and a credit to the Aggie fans in all this weather, making a lot of noise tonight at Legion Stadium. Johnston, Aggie show delay blitz, nearly oh. intercepted. Caleb Story jumps the route through his hands, and he had a lot of green grass between himself at the 40 and the goal line in the north end zone. Yeah, and that right there, I would that was a huge opportunity. I would not call it a missed opportunity. That was broken up. Moody, offense at the line of scrimmage on a fourth and 12. Again, the quarterback will drop back as Caleb Story had a big interception last week. Johnston kicks it high in the air, hand over end, takes a Moody roll at the 25. Get away from the football. Why did oh. we touch the football? Why did the Aggies touch this football? And Moody will get it. They were handing it to us on a platter. Wow. You get a big time stop. Moody was gonna give you the football back. They'll direct snap it with Blaine Burke. Burke going right side, holding Boy, is the call. Oh. They'll back him up 10 yards, but oh my goodness, the Aggie defense comes out, forces a three and out. And Moody had it near the red zone. This will back him up 10 yards from the spot. And now we'll send in Nathan Gordon along that defensive line as Charlie Johnston should have had a pick six. You talk about big plays last week, three different chances for the Aggies to get an interception. And then something like that just happened, yeah. happened the play after it every single time. Yeah, and that's, I mean, you, you, I can't say what was going through the young man's mind, probably wanted to pick it up 
and gain some yards, but in a situation like that, you let it go. That's your ball. And it's Burt again. Burt steps inside the red zone, hit from behind, tackled at the 15. Nolan Gordon slow to get up. Hope he's okay. Excuse me, that's Caden Matchin down on the near sideline. As Nolan Gordon comes in, Matchin will come out favoring his left hand. Three receivers far side. We don't have anybody over there. Johnston wanted the snap, didn't get it. Now Moody will check over to the sideline. 7-17 left in the third, 16-14. Blue Devils inside of the red zone at the Aggie 16. Johnston swings it out to Burke. Burke tackled before he got the first down in Moody. Boy, they got away with a hold all the way from the right hash to the sideline. Third down, Moody. You got to think they're thinking two plays to get three yards. And you see we got big Nathan Gordon that came in to dot the nose right there. Here we go, third and three. Three tight ends left side. Burke keeping it. Burke jumps over yes. a defender, but yes. he's taken down for a loss. And a flag, a flag came out. What is this flag from? Is it for leaping over a player? Didn't see a face mask. No. Still await this call. A flag lays down at the 17. And this could be big and they'll wave it off. Okay. So it's fourth down okay. and three. I was afraid that on that uh, we had the we had the the receiver wrapped up around the feet and Nolan Gordon came in up high. I was worried that they were going to call that targeting. Fourth and four. Gordon will get off late. Boy, Nathan was moving there. Hand off to Burke. He'll have the first down. Went left side. Did Burke off left tackle. Inside of the 10 to the nine yard line. Fourth and three, Moody converts. Inside of the 10, first and goal. Yeah, Jeremy, this is just where we gotta pull those chin straps tight. Can't say buckle them up anymore. We all have uh, Rydell speed flexes now. Pull them tight, ratchet them down, bow up. Keep them out of the end zone. Sixteen, 14. Johnston back in, man across the formation left to right. Johnston looking, looking, throwing, catch made at the five, at the three, at the two, spinning ahead to the one, second and goal with a yard to go. Yeah, this quick offense is really wreaking havoc on our, uh, on our defense. Secondary's having a tough time getting settled before the play starts. 5.30 and counting. Give to Burt, touchdown. Mm. Had him in the backfield. Burt again in the end zone. I believe he's got all of them. Yeah. A mistake leads to a Moody touchdown. Two. Well, that's two touchdowns, both touchdowns coming off turnovers for the Aggies. Yep, those are the big mistakes. We just got to, we got to hammer down, and just not make, stay focused. Making it back to a two score game. 23-14. Mm. Let's take a 30 second break. This is the Aggie Sports Network, Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Orthopedics is here 
Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine welcomes back orthopedic surgeon Dr. Anthony Tropiano. From sports injuries to wear and tear as you age, Dr. Tropiano treats most types of orthopedic injuries. Dr. Tropiano is temporarily located at 120 South Aniston Avenue across from the hospital. Call today for an appointment, 256-401-4196. That's 256-401-4196 for Dr. Anthony Tropiano at Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. You're listening to the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, the official broadcast partner of Sylacauga High School Athletics. Two moody touchdowns off of turnovers in the third quarter. Two drives for Moody. A combined 32 yards on those drives for touchdowns here in the second half. 23-14, to 14, Blue Devils with the lead, they got it back up to nine as Swain and Cottingham standing back deep inside of their own 10 to return the kickoff from Marino. Moody kicking left to right in white uniforms, Aggies in the Cardinal tops, white pants, Cardinal helmets. Mid third quarter with 526 to play. This is the Aggie Sports Network brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, Marino hand raised. Will approach the football, teed up at the 40-yard line. And again, Moody offsides on the kick. Yeah, to quote my buddy and your buddy, David McCurley, on air, he would refer to that as a backbreaker. That's definitely what that was. Full, full momentum going into that. We had one mistake, gave him a touchdown. and You got to score, you got to stop, and... Somehow Moody ends up in the end zone. Hey, don't lump me in Dave McCurley company. Hey. <laughs> Just okay. saying, I like it. There's some Aggie Sports Network, Tiger Sports Network rivalries that go on at 99 North Norton Avenue. <laughs> Marino again puts a big leg into this one. He's got a good leg. This will hit Q in the chest at the nine. Q far side to near side, looking for the sideline. Swain out across the 30, lowers the shoulder to the 31. Good starting field position, and let's go down to Brent for a quick sideline report. Brent Ashley. Well, we didn't give him a warning, so we'll get him. Uh, well, let's still go. Let's do it. Sorry about that guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm down here talking to JT, one of our defensive linemen tonight. You know, I, I basically just asked him, I said, JT, what are they telling y'all? What do you need to do? He was like, look, they're not telling us anything but to stay aggressive. we got to do outside containment. He said, right now we're not in, you know, containing Brooks on the outside. He said, inside we're doing great, but outside we've got to get, we got to scrub more all the linebackers, get to that defensive end, get him to where he can get inside and get that you know outside containment so that's all they're telling him and JT still he's he's hyped and he's ready to go thanks Brent four yard carry for Rance matching to the 35 yard line a good audience on Facebook for us tonight it's 23 14 Moody hey Brent you got to be faster with that phone out of the pocket Brent yeah, you can you can just you can leave it in there now. We're not throwing to you for a little bit. CJ, CJ, left hash, fakes, rolls right. Franklin has speed, throws deep, man wide open, caught at the 30, down the right sideline. Who is that? It is. That is Jakari Cottingham. Is it Cottingham again? It is. They didn't cover him. And the Aggies back inside of the 10 yard line. CJ to Jakari Cottingham. And that's the big play spark we need right now. Get some points on the board, guys. Keep this momentum going. Boy, Coach Chris Smelly knows how to call a game on offense. And he's got his backup quarterback in there who has one incompletion. First and goal at the nine. What an answer this would be. CJ turns, gives, matching. Wrapped up near the line of scrimmage, pushes ahead. Oh, Rents got a couple to the six yard line. CJ Franklin had probably no expectation to come into this ball game tonight. 
but an injury on the final play of the first quarter deployed CJ into action and he has answered the bell. That's right, and like we said, he, Chris Smelly would not put him in if he did not trust him. Complete faith in the young sophomore C.J. Franklin. Three receivers far side. Nobody to the near side. Now Gordon shifts off to the left side of Mikey Funderburg. C.J. looking, looking, throwing, nearly throws an interception. So it'll be third and goal at the six. It was maybe a little further away from an interception than we let on. But the closest player to the football was a diving Blue Devil at the two. Yeah, we, CJ's definitely got to keep that confidence up. Don't be scared to throw the ball. Uh, well, Jakari Cottingham could have been doing jumping jacks down on the left of 35 <laughs> where he was <laughs> standing. Here we go on a third and goal from the seven yard line. CJ in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Franklin looking, rolling, going down to the backfield. Mm. Tough sack to take as this is going to be a 35-yarder for C.J. Franklin. And Coach Smelly not happy, but C.J. gets up slow. 35 yards on the wet turf. What do you do? I think you have to send the field goal team out to get this back to a one-score ball game. That's right. Put I'm going to start calling him Iceman. Nothing shakes uh, our kicker. And I'm drawing a blank, Mr. Ethan Pruitt. He, he almost feeds off of the pressure. Snap, hold, kick is up. It has the leg. And it is good. A 35-yard field goal from Ethan Pruitt gets us to 23 to 17, and we'll go down to Brent. Guys, right now on that play, you know, C.J., he done everything he needed to do. The one thing you noticed, as he got in trouble, he knew he was more toward this hash, so he tried to turn and get back to the middle of the field, hoping that they'd put Ethan in to put that on the board. And then right there, as you said, Ethan lives for that. That young man's got ice in his blood, and he just definitely just took it. Everybody was around him, kicked it through. Great job by Ethan Pruitt to put the Aggies on the board and pull us Thanks, Brent. Well, it's a 23-17 ball game after the field goal from Ethan Pruitt. Can this defense come up with yet another stop? Ethan, after the field goal, Matt, well, has it teed up at the 40-yard line. Yeah, I've got complete faith in our defensive line right now to put pressure on that quarterback. From what we've seen so far. Here's the kick. Out of bounds around we'll the go, 30. Go out of bounds at the 30. Give it to Moody at the 35. And we'll take that all day. Can this defensive line, can, listen, negative plays. They have forced some negative plays in this game, which happened a lot last week. But then we gave up big ones on third and long, second right. and longs. Can we keep them in front of us? And can we contain Blaine that's, Burke? That's, that's going to be the focus for the rest of the ball game. Three and outs, three and outs. Don't allow that big play to happen. Give to Burke again. Landon Burns wrestles him down, but Burke had a guy on him in the backfield, and I'm not sure we ever touched him. Jump cut out of the way to his left. And he picks up five yards to the 40. Moody will get quickly on top of the football. Game clock at 217 in the third, a one score game between Silicaga and top 10 Moody. Charlie Johnston, the quarterback, with three receivers to the right. And now Burke across the formation. A quick toss to Burke. Jamari Jeffries, can we chase him down? Burke comes back near side. The Aggies had him and lost him, but coming in to make a big time tackle. What's Caleb's story? Yeah, Jamari Jeffrey smelled that one out, but he was able to make a quick move to reverse his field, and there was a blocker right in the way. Just a great effort by Jamari Jeffries, but uh, glad Caleb's story was able to stay well enough at home to 
bring him down. Third and one, Moody with the football. Running back is Abram Jackson, wearing the number 11. Snap, give, Jackson has the first down. A gain of four, maybe five, to the 48-yard line. That'll move the sticks. And one of the things I've noticed here, our defensive line is running toe-to-toe -to -toe with their offensive line. They're just able to get their hips on the right side and turn just a little bit to give to allow those small holes to open up for their running backs to get through. Man, let's talk about two guys that have played, I think three guys that have played their tails off of that defensive line. Boy, Chris Woods, Landon Burns, and JT Sumner. We won't forget about Caden Match, but Landon Burns has been everywhere. High snap, taken. Johnston makes something out of nothing. Able to get into Aggie territory to the 46, a five-yard gain on first down. That's right, a good job by uh, Caden Manchin to stay at home. Just kind of hoping that the high snap would slow that play down, but it just just shows the, the athlete that we have back at uh, quarterback to be able to regain control of it and make something happen. 23-17 with 21 seconds to play in the third. This will maybe be the last play of the third quarter. Johnston shotgun, four receivers in the set. Running back on his right hip is Jackson. Madison in motion right to left. Zone read, QB keeper. Big hole for the quarterback. And we'll pull him down as the buzzer sounds after a gain to the 38 and a first down. We've played three quarters, it's 23. 17, Moody with the lead. We'll be back for the final 12. This is the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. These are roaring with hometown pride. Here at First Bank of Alabama, our bank family is cheering for your team too. We support all our local communities with state-of-the-art banking. From checking to savings, construction loans, home equity, and home mortgages, we provide all of your consumer and commercial banking needs. We want you to bank how you want. Whether it's online, in person, mobile, or telephone banking, we make it easy for you. Visit us at firstbankal.com to find the most convenient way for you to bank in First Bank of Alabama, where you are first. First Bank of Alabama, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Orthopedics is here. Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine welcomes back orthopedic surgeon Dr. Anthony Tropiano. From sports injuries to wear and tear as you age, Dr. Tropiano treats most types of orthopedic injuries. Dr. Tropiano is temporarily located at 120 South Aniston Avenue across from the hospital. Call today for an appointment, 256-401-4196. That's 256-401-4196 for Dr. Anthony Tropiano at Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. It's always a good day when your morning starts off with fresh hot coffee, cappuccino, or latte options from Allen Brew Market. And if you need some extra energy to make it through the day, Allen Brew Market has monster energy drinks, snacks, and candy for that quick afternoon pick me up. At Allen Brew Market, they mean it when they say fuel for your car and fuel for your body. You're all in with Allen, oh yeah. Allen Brew Markets. Todd Malone is your trusted physical therapist and athletic trainer at Star Physical Therapy. For over a decade, Todd's been improving mobility and life quality in Sylacauga and South Talladega County. Star Physical Therapy offers advanced technology and personalized care for optimal recovery. Don't let pain stop you. Discover the star difference. Online at starphysicaltherapy.net. Schedule an appointment today. Snap Fitness Silicaga is here for you 24-7 to help move your body and transform your mood with a strong member community and a super supportive team. Members get access to the best range of cardio, strength, and functional training equipment, plus a free member app for access to workout programs, on-demand fitness, and healthy, delicious recipes. And fitness isn't just a young person's game. Staying active helps to prevent disease, improve mental health, decrease risk of falls, and improve cognitive function. It's never too late to get started. Join the Snap Fitness community today. Snap Fitness on James D. Payton Boulevard, right behind Sarah Honda. Start of the fourth quarter. Aggies in a nail biter right now. 23-17. Moody with the football. First and 10. 
at their own at the Aggie 38. Johnston takes the snap. Throws quickly out to the left. The Aggies miss an open field tackle. No, the pass was incomplete. And I'm glad it was yes. because the guy who called it is standing at the 28 by himself. Yeah, he's dangerous. We did see KD Cannon come up to make the play, but uh, as open as he was, as uncovered. Had a lot of ground to make up from KD. Yeah, it was Madison, the intended target. Here's the give to the running back. He'll pick his way through the hole on a second down, a gain of six. Third and four. Abram Jackson on the carry, giving Blaine Burke a blow. And Moody to the line quickly. We gotta get off the field. Moody's already over the football. The Aggies in the neutral zone, yeah. free play and a handoff. Here goes Jackson down the right sideline. 15, 10, five, tackled at the two. Flag down back here, but it is on the Aggies. At the 34, as Woods and Gordon come back on. Maybe some miscommunication on who was in on that play. And the Aggies, KD Cannon down in the end zone. Yeah, that's one way that the uh, that speed offense that they're running really give the Aggies a hard time, especially around substitutions, not only just getting set on the field. KD Cannon down in the end zone, and we'll take a 30-second break. 23-17, your score with 11-22 left fourth quarter. Don't get burned with rising interest rates and limited inventory. Contact the Girls on Fire lending team at Movement Mortgage. Whether you're refinancing or purchasing, they want to be your mortgage lending team for life. Check out Movement Mortgage Silicaga on Facebook, where you can also apply for a mortgage 24-7 with the Apply Now button. Or contact Movement Mortgage at 256-365-0294. Movement Mortgage LLC supports equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 39179. For licensing information, please visit nmlsconsumeraccess.org. Back live at Legion Stadium, KD Cannon, hopefully just a cramp for KD. Zaggy defense been on the field a lot here in the second half. 11-22 to play, fourth quarter, Moody threatening to score. It's a 23-17 ball game. Burke checks back in for Moody. From the four, keeper all the way. And they're in. And he's in. That was Brighton Ursay on the carry. Senior quarterback. And Moody scores. And will probably go for two to make this a full two touchdown ball game. Yeah, good surge from their right side of the offensive line to move our guys back to make room for him to come through and get just across the line of scrimmage. Aggies with three turnovers in this game. Two of them leading to Moody touchdowns. Moody going for two. Football middle of the hash. Quarterback looking, firing, complete. Quick slant on the outside. Caught, and the PAT try is good. 31-17, Moody leads it with 11.06 left here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, on that play, the receiver just got on the inside shoulder of Corbin Patterson. Uh, just kind of put it out of reach. Threw it in a little bit where the receiver had to reach for it. He brought it in. PAT good. Moody with it teed up at the 40. Brent actually is umbrella-less. So the rain <laughs> must be done. We'll go to Brent after this kickoff. Now it just looks like the penguin from Batman down there holding it in his hand. Starts spinning it, 
sing Singing in the Rain. Not waddling is bad. <laughs> What's that movie? Mary Poppins? <laughs> yeah, it's going to fly away. We might need a bigger umbrella. <laughs> Marino again. Good leg into this kick. Fielded by Cottingham at the 11. Here's Jakari. Jakari cuts inside at the 20, met at the 21, and dropped right there. And let's go down to Brent Ashley for a quick sideline report. Brent. Hey, guys, the, really the adjustment that I've seen that Moody made in that those two drives that they did against us was they're actually delaying the running back just a little bit, allowing that big offensive line to turn our defensive line and get them kind of out of the play. So if you notice it at the beginning of the game, Brooks and all of them were just really hitting the line as hard as they could, as fast as they could. But then on those last two drives, I noticed that Moody made that small adjustment, and it's to where that they're just delaying just enough to allow their offensive line to turn the defense and it's being successful for them so far. But, hey, these guys are still up down here. They're still wanting this game really bad. That's Brent actually down on the sideline. Man, Brent, I'm sorry I sent you down on a game where it rained like this. Maybe not next week. Heck, it might be sunny next week, and you might opt to go down there on your own. Here's the quick give to Matchin. Finds a good oh. hole, picks up four yards to the 25. Q Swain back in the game, 10, 47, and counting. A nice little game there by Ranch. Was able to just kind of pop through about hip level. Second and six, Aggies going left to right. CJ maybe bobbled a snap, gave it off to Rance again. Rance pick up three, four yards. Powell still moving. Aggies pushing, matching ahead. He'll have the first down. That's what I love to see. That second and third effort both by Rance and that offensive line. Knowing where that line to gain is, let's get our man over it. Keep moving the ball down the field. Thirty-one seventeen. Clock at ten minutes on the dot. Fourth quarter. C.J. Franklin, the backup quarterback in the game. Snap. C.J. looking under pressure. Gets out of the pocket. C.J. throws it, and Q. Swain was held and held badly out of his break. This one should move the sticks. Boy. And Luckily, you know, you can't throw it away in high school football, and I'm sure that's what Coach Smelly is going to tell C.J. because he might have been throwing it away, but close enough where Q. Swain was maybe being held in the vicinity, and the Aggies will get a first down. Hey, we'll take it. Want to give a sorry, give a shout out to Rocky White, whose daughter is getting married tomorrow. Normally keeps our stats for the football team in the Aggie Sports Network. Listening online in Towsie. Hi, Rocky. Hope you're having fun this weekend. We know your daughter would not have dared to get married Texas weekend. <laughs> Middle Tennessee, the better. 31-17. Moody we got in it. the neutral zone. We'll be glad to have Mr. Rocky back next week. Going back to your comment that this weekend doesn't matter as much to some as it does to others. You know, Auburn plays after my bedtime next week. I know. Be a tough one. Rocky says exactly. He'll, he'll <laughs> give up the Middle Tennessee game. But they would have had to get married on Friday next week. CJ again, a blitz by Moody. Hey, but not a we'll bad get game. Rance a one-yard game. Claire Hodges keeping stats for us tonight. Michael Brennan producing the broadcast alongside Rebecca Wyckoff and Carly Thornton running camera and also producing. I want to thank them for their help working with the Aggie Sports Network this year. Second and four after a one-yard run for Matchin. Now football at the 49. Nearing Moody territory. A lot of bodies on the line of scrimmage. 9.06 to play. C.J. Standing in, looking, throwing, incomplete, and there's, there's a, flag. a flag. The cornerback ran Bryce Oden out of bounds, never let him get down the sideline, and that'll move the sticks. And I'm going to tell you what's been super impressive watching CJ those past two, those past two throws that he's had. His maturity level just as a sophomore. He sees his receiver close. Let's throw it 
towards him, but not push it down the field, not trying to make a play happen. That'll move the chains into Moody territory. Football planted down at the Moody 36. 31-17, Aggies down two tutties in the fourth quarter. Lionel Cheneau comes off. Nolan Gordon in. Gabe Harrell, Q Swain, the near side receivers get set. Gordon in motion, matching in motion. Empty backfield for CJ on a first and 10. Snap, CJ under pressure, steps up, going down. Mm. Too many men. It was eight on five, and Silicaga never checked out, and C.J. Franklin goes down for a four-yard loss. It's too much for our boys in Cardinal on the offensive line right there. It's a lot to ask for them. Thirty-one seventeen. Here's the snap. CJ rolls right, hops, throws. Should have been pass interference. That was. I don't care if the throw wasn't great. The linebacker all over the back of the Aggies. Rance matching. Jagger Ludoff. I saw had him wrapped up. I must have seen a glove down here on the from close to the line, Judge. I thought he threw it for us, Jeremy. Third and 15, Aggies at the Moody 40. Down 31-17 with eight minutes to play. CJ in the offense look over to the Aggies sideline. Matching in motion again will set up with Swain and Gabe Harrell to the near side, two receivers far side. On a third and 15, CJ standing in, looking, hops, throws, football in the air, nowhere near anybody is CJ. Got hit and hit hard. Nice. You're down two possessions. You're going for this all the way. With 7.53 stopped on the clock. Can the Aggies give CJ enough time as Moody has really pinned their ears back on this possession? Yeah, they certainly have. Been a little much for our offensive line. CJ has proven himself in the past several series his maturity level is there. He's making good decisions, but not quite as quick enough as you would expect from a seasoned quarterback. Timeout, Silicaga will take one, two. 31-17, Moody with the lead. Just under eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. When you're ready to finance a home, Coosa Pines is a lender you can trust. With a fixed mortgage rate from Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, your rate will never increase and neither will your payment. To learn more, visit CoosaPinesFCU.org and click on Borrowing, then Mortgage Loans. Apply right from the website or in our apps for an honest-to-goodness fair rate and no unwelcome surprises. Let Coosa Pines welcome you home. Federally insured by NCUA Equal Housing Lender. NMLS ID 464059. The Aggie Sports Network is driven by right tire and service. Drive smoothly on the right tires and keep your ride in mint condition with the right parts. Right tire and service on West Fort Williams Street in Sylacauga. Aggie Sports Network driven by right tire and service. Get it done the right way at right tire and service on West Fort Williams Street in Sylacauga. Jeremy Law, Matt Crocker in the affordable heating and air broadcast booth. Brent Ashley down on the sideline. Aggies facing a fourth and 14 from the Moody 40. 31-17, your score, Moody. Showing blitz, CJ standing in, rolling right, looking, looking, Franklin, looking. Franklin has a chance for a first down, CJ. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Needed the 26, out at the 25, the Aggies pick up a fourth and 14. Great job, CJ, on that. Did not see the play that he wanted, did not see the receiver that he wanted, but he made it happen with his feet. Clock stopped at 7.41. Snap and handoff matching. 
fights his way through a hole. Boy, it's been a lot more tough treading for Rance Matchin than it has been for Blaine Burke for Moody. But Matchin continuing to fight hard with a pickup of five on first down. And I tell you, Jeremy, a lesser man couldn't handle what they're asking him to do tonight to run against these big guys on the Moody defense. I think Brent calls him 10 foot tall and bulletproof. Aggies, He's showing it now. Aggies looking to get in the Marble City Pharmacy red zone. C.J. Franklin leading the Aggie as the backup quarterback. C.J. standing in, looking, throwing, catch made. Q. Swain, will they get him for a push off? He was being, oh. he was being held for a moment, but did he get the push off? Oh, they'll get the holding on the defense. He'll take the penalty for 10 yards and a first down. Q may have pushed off, but it was because he was being held and the Aggies will get into the Marble City Pharmacy red zone for first and 10. And going back to uh, Smelly on the Aggie Talk show last night, capitalize on these opportunities right here. Against a team like this, these opportunities don't happen often. And the Aggies are having to do this with really Two tight ends in the game that are stuck in there blocking. First and goal at the 10. CJ looking, firing, nearly intercepted. Boy, Bryce, you got to go up and fight for that football. Looking yeah. for Bryce Oden at the five. Not sure Bryce saw it because a defender cut in between Bryce and the football, but that one was nearly picked off by the Moody Blue Devils. Would have been the second Aggie red zone turnover. Second and goal from the 10 with 6.46 to play in the ball game. Aggies give Rance matching. Tough sledding. Picks up one, maybe two to the eight. Chano and Gordon. In at tight end. What are the odds the Aggies slip one of those out? Oh, man. They've been in blocking on the last at least three plays. CJ, hard count, Moody. Safety comes up, shows blitz, now drops back. Looking for Swain. Up, Swain, incomplete. Boy, Swain was pushed and pushed hard, but that one may have been an uncatchable ball for Q in the back of the end zone on the right side. And now the Aggies will face another fourth down. This one fourth and goal from the eight. Wow. Going back to what you said, uh, you and I both have seen Cheneau run the ball. It'd be nice to see a play drawn up in situations like this just to flip the ball out of that H-back position. He's a big tank when he gets a hold of the ball. Empty set for CJ. Matching splits out left, Moody calls a timeout. Ball game in the balance, let's stay here. Brent Ashley down on the sideline. The Aggies face a fourth and eight. They've marched all the way inside of the 10. How do they cap this drive off with a touchdown? Well, right here, I think we need something kind of quick over the middle as we were talking a while ago when Bryce Oden really didn't go up for that one. I think a play like that would probably be good right here. And the reason I'm saying that is, is by watching Moody's defense, they're actually just keying on the run. They're keying on Rance Mansion so much right now that they're exposing their across the middle or even kind of deep. So, you know, and with C.J. Franklin in, it's just going to take him a, just a few seconds longer to get the ball out there. So that offensive line just needs to get Give him that extra protection, but something quick across the middle or maybe just something quick to the outside uh, flag to where the guys can really get up under it quickly, I think is what we need right here because they're selling out with eight men in the box and not leaving any help on the backside. Moody defensive backs have been very physical on this drive and really all night. We've already seen a couple of plays where flags have come out on Moody DBs just on this drive alone. You have to get it in the end zone. 31-17, the Aggies facing a fourth and goal from the eight. C.J. Franklin has been the Aggie QB since the start of the second quarter. One of the biggest moments of his Aggie career. 
Another empty set for CJ. Franklin claps his hands, gets the snap, looks, throws, looking for Harrell, intercepted in the end zone. He had to throw it to the end zone. Harrell was open for a split second, but Moody able to pick it off in the fourth Aggie turnover on the night. Wow. Yeah, the, that safety was just a little too much. At one point, he was behind Gabe, and in a split second, he was in front of him getting the interception. Moody with it, quarterback keeper all the way. Landon Burns, a force to be reckoned with in this game, able to drop the quarterback for a one yard loss back at the 19. Moody content with running the football, keeping the clock rolling up 14 with now under five and a half minutes to play in the fourth. Stay tuned after the game for the Star Physical Therapy post game show. Quarterback in the shotgun, running back off his right hip. Handoff goes for a gain of seven to the 25-yard line. Brighton Ursay, senior quarterback, 6'1", 170, handing that one off. Moody probably a first down away from putting this and went away, Matt, as the Aggies have fought their tails off. That's right. In this you, ball game. You can't. You can't take anything away from the effort that we've seen from these boys on the field. These young men on both sides of the ball, they've done a tremendous job playing who we're facing right now, doing a great job. Tight end in motion, now setting up off the right side of the offensive line. Hand off to the running back, he'll get the first down. Needed the 30, got the 30 and a half, and that'll move the chains. Yeah, and I do see what Brent was mentioning before, the adjustment of the little stutter step that the running back is taking. Just a small delay allowing, allowing those seams to open up across the defensive line, letting his guys open up a hole for him. Seems to be working. Three fifty-two to play. In the fourth. Moody, another handoff. This time a gain of seven, maybe eight. On a first down. Got uh, Lionel Cheneau checking in. Add a little more meat to that defensive line right there beside JT Sumner. Three thirteen and counting. For those that'll stay with us, who may not be staying with us on the air, back here Thursday night, Elmore County. Thursday night game, and then it's all Friday caps after that. Ursay, QB keeper for a first down. Pre-game coverage next Thursday at 5.30 on WSGN. That means the Coach Smelly Show is on Cornhole Night at Bandit's oh, Bar yeah. and Grill, which was a fun crowd. Listen, it, come support Silicon football next Wednesday night at Bandit's Bar and Grill. Join us for the Coach Smelly Show. I think after this performance, they deserve to want to thank Bandit's Bar and Grill for letting us come out and have Aggie talk every week featuring Coach Chris Smelly. Had a great conversation with Coach Jay Brooks yesterday. Hand off, big hole, gain of seven. The clock under two minutes. Yeah, cornhole tournaments on Wednesday nights. Uh, live music goes on at seven o'clock after we wrap up with Aggie Talk. And one thing I will say about the crowd at Bandits, 
on Wednesday nights, they take their cornhole very, very seriously. Some good cornhole players. I don't know enough about it to say somebody's good, but somebody always competing for the tournament win. On the second and four, Moody gives it. Burns racks up another tackle. Boy, Landon Burns has been on. If we've made a tackle, he's been around the football right. tonight. And he's definitely one of those young men that when they send in tape for the other team to watch, he's one of the ones that shine when they're looking at how do we block number seven. How Moody do we block will get number seven? in victory formation and nil this one out. Hats off to the Moody Blue Devils, advancing to 2-0 on the year. A couple nail biters early in the season for Moody, who has state championship expectations this year. Play clock at 8, game clock at 46. Quarterback takes it, kneels it down, and that'll do it as the teams will line up and meet at midfield. Your final score from Legion Stadium will be 31-17. Blue Devils with the win. Hats off to Silicaga. Hats off to Coach Chris Smelly. Hats off to this Aggie coaching staff. And especially hats off to C.J. Franklin in this one. We'll be back with a Star Physical Therapy post-game show. Just as the name says, Purcell Agritech combines agriculture with technology for next generation seed solutions for turf, ornamental, row, and specialty crops. If you're in any one of those industries, contact Purcell Agritech to see how they can meet your application and nutrition needs online at fertilizer.com. Purcell Agritech would like to wish the Silicaga Aggies best of luck this year in sports. Go Aggies! In the last 25 years, we've had five presidents. We now have smartphones instead of landlines. Computers went from 250 megabytes to terabyte hard drives. Netflix didn't exist, but we had Movie Gallery. There have been a lot of changes in the last 25 years, but Alvia Steers has been your good neighbor State Farm agent all that time with the same great coverage State Farm built their reputation on. And Alvia Steers is still here for you now with rates to fit your budget. Come see him on Broadway, just north of Jackson, Sylacauga. Orthopedics is here. Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine welcomes back orthopedic surgeon Dr. Anthony Tropiano. From sports injuries to wear and tear as you age, Dr. Tropiano treats most types of orthopedic injuries. Dr. Tropiano is temporarily located at 120 South Aniston Avenue across from the hospital. Call today for an appointment, 256-401-4196. That's 256-401-4196 for Dr. Anthony Tropiano at Coosa Valley Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hey there, I'm glad to see Brad here. I hate that he broke his foot last week. Me too. He had to have surgery, and now it's time for physical therapy. Time for Donahue Physical Therapy to work their magic. I wish. His surgeon is sending us to this other place in Birmingham. You don't have to take him to Birmingham. Physical therapy is like a prescription for medicine. You can get it anywhere you want, like Donahue Physical Therapy. Really? I didn't know that. I thought we had to go where the doctor sends him. Nope, you can go to Donahue Physical Therapy right here in Sylacauga. Well, okay then. I'm calling Donahue Physical Therapy first thing in the morning. Get back to the action faster with Donahue Physical Therapy at their new location just a little further down West Fort William Street in Sylacauga. Your pain really starts here. It's always a good day when your morning starts off with fresh hot coffee, cappuccino, or latte options from Allen Brew Market. And if you need some extra energy to make it through the day, Allen Brew Market has monster energy drinks, snacks, and candy for that quick afternoon pick me up. At Allen Brew Market, they mean it when they say fuel for your car and fuel for your body. You're all in with Allen, oh yeah. Allen Brew Markets.
This is the Star Physical Therapy Post Game Show on the Aggie Sports Network. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one. Star Physical Therapy Post Game Show. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one. Final score, 31-17. Moody with the win here at Legion Stadium. Jeremy Long, Brent Ashley, Matt Crocker in the Sleeping Giant Heating and Cooling, excuse me, the Affordable Heating and Air broadcast booth. Old habits die hard, boys. Yeah, My apologies. 31-17, but some old habits may have been kicked tonight for Silicaga. Fighting hard in this ball game. A little turnover here. Heavy was the kind of the – what is it? What did they say? What's the thing that broke the camel's back? Straw. A straw. Boy, I'm a little flustered after this game. So excited <laughs> for these guys. 31-17 final score, Matt Crocker. Yeah, old habits do die hard. You called me Brand about a baker's dozen times tonight. But, yeah, uh, you know, looking at the game, these Aggies played hard, played with a lot of heart. I don't think we can say enough about them coming out knowing the opponent that they they were going to face, hearing all the backlash from social media and from their fellow students in the halls at, at, uh, during school all week, still put in the work this week, uh, remained focused. Um, I'm super impressed with where this program is going a- after tonight. Chris Smelly has definitely got a good thing going on. He's got everybody all in. And he explained that what that meant to what it meant to him, what he preaches to the kids, all in and protect the team. These boys will go to bat for each other, no doubt. They're in it for each other. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just a great thing to see this develop right in front of us. Yeah, guys, and I tell you, being on the sidelines with these guys all night long was just it. It was so much fun. They never really stopped. Um, I've seen a lot of teams play hard. I've seen a lot of teams play for the full 48 minutes. But these guys gave everything. Uh, The way they played both offensive and defensively, you know, never stopping, never doing anything, you know, but just give it everything they have. And I'm going to tell you, three guys come off the field on that last play. Q Swain came off. Bryce Oden came off. And then even uh, Franklin came off. But when they did, all three of them just kind of fell down is because they were totally expensed because they gave everything they could give. Now, those big offensive linemen and defensive linemen, same way. When they come off that field, they were just expensed to a point to where you can tell that they gave every possible thing they could give tonight for that team and for that coach to get this win. And we just come up a little short, but I'm telling you, we keep playing football and playing as a team like that, you're going to see this team turn it around and they're going to do outstanding things before the year's out. Well, hopefully they're able to turn that into a win next week in our first region game yeah. against Elmore County. Listen, this is this last year and this year is not the Elmore County of old. They have uh, really turned the corner in their program as well. A lot of talent on that Elmore County team. Not a, you know, not a traditional uh, powerhouse, but they have a lot of talent and a really good team coming here. To Legion Stadium next Friday night. The Aggies gave Moody everything they wanted tonight. And, guys, the killer, the backbreaker, Moody's first two touchdown drives of the third of the second half were for a combined 31 yards. And um, able, whether it be a fumble on one of our first plays of the, of the half or the mistake made on the punt, Moody kind of got two freebies there in the third quarter and, just a little bit too much for the Aggies to overcome those mistakes tonight, Matt Crocker. Right. And that's not a good statistic to have. Two scores, you know, 200 yards, two scores, 80 yards, but two scores and 32 yards. We, we, we gave them plenty of opportunities. They capitalized. But on the, on the flip side, they gave us a few opportunities too that we were not able to capitalize on. Um, Something we definitely got to work on. The maturity level will get there on the team, um, making those right decisions, knowing when opportunity knocks, uh, being able to do the right thing, play smart football, score some points, win some ball games. Well, and I'll tell you guys, and Brent, there's a lot of people who thought that Moody was going to drop a 50-7 to type of score on the Aggies tonight, but not so fast. 
Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, I have to honestly say I may have been one of those. I was scared going into this game. I was really scared that, you know, by watching them last week, seeing how that we were dominated on that defensive end side and, you know, the offensive line struggled a little bit. Defensive line couldn't get a lot of penetration that they needed to to get in the backfield to disrupt some plays. I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little, I was a little scared. But – we did exactly to Moody as we had Juanona done to us last week. We surprised them with speed. And when we did, we were in the backfield you know, defensive line-wise. You know, the linebackers scratched off. They'd done everything they needed to in order to keep everything at bay. You know, but most impressively was just the fact that our guys just, they, they never quit. You know, and it was like, man, you know, Moody was just stunned at our athleticism coming at them and JT Sumner's on that defensive line I'm gonna tell you I had a great time with that young man down there tonight he was just all over it having a blast yeah and for this to be his second varsity football game has the kid ever played football before in his life maybe I'm maybe as a Pee Wee Missouri, League yeah but my goodness he is definitely a force to be reckoned with uh, but just to just to kind of keep talking what you, what you were mentioning Brent Seeing the way this program is going, what is this team going to look like next year? Well, not even next year, but later on in this season. They are going to be a force to be reckoned with. I think we're going to shock some folks this year. I agree with you, Matt. I think we really are. Uh, and I think it's going to start next week. I think Elmore County is going to come into here. Elmore County is going to kind of look at it hey, and look at the two scores. Let's not give them any billboard the material, Matt Crocker. I mean, <laughs> Brent Ashley, excuse me. No, I, think, I think Elmore County is going to come in, and it's going to be a tough fall ball game next Friday yes. night here at Legion Stadium. And I know we didn't win the game, and I'm not going to text Coach Smelly and tell him how proud of him I am. You know, I am, but I am proud of this team, proud Super of Coach, proud. proud of the staff for bouncing back. Listen, it's easy to lose a team that just went 0-10 that got blown out in week one to yeah. come back out and play in week two against a team that, that truly thinks that they can win a state championship, and they probably still can with the yeah. amount of talent that they have. But Silicaga needed to see a game like this, go down to the wire, go back, watch the tape, see the mistakes, clean them up, and next week, you say what you want to, you win this game has nothing to do with the rest of our season. That's right. Region play starts next week. Yeah, one thing we can say, if Moody does make it down to, I think it's at Bryant-Denny this year in the state championship game, I guarantee you they're going to remember week two. They did not expect this. So, so proud of our Aggies fighting tooth and nail for every yard that we got. 31-17, your final score from Legion Stadium in Sylacauga, Alabama. Sylacauga falls to 0-2 on the year. Back at home next week against the Elmore County Panthers in a region matchup. From Jeremy Long, Brent Ashley, Matt Crocker, Rebecca Wyckoff, and Carly Thornton, this has been a product of Radio Alabama and Silicaga Athletics. Thanks for listening.